106.9 really rocks. Welcome in all of our YouTube audience as well right now. Everybody watching over at Columbus River Dragons on YouTube. Thanks for being a part of River Dragons Hockey as they host the Motor City Rockers this weekend. In a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three games in three days affair that will culminate on Sunday with a 405 matinee. But in the meantime, tonight the Rockers in town for the first and only time this season. The season series will finish up next weekend in Motor City as the River Dragons head to Michigan for a 3-3, three and three, but two of those will be against the Port Huron Prowlers. And the middle game of that stretch will come against this Rockers club. Now these two teams have seen each other three times previously with the River Dragons winning two out of three, but it was Motor City that a couple of weeks ago stopped that big win streak. The River Dragons were on 16 games in a row for Columbus, and it was thwarted by Motor City. It was a 5-4 win for the Rockers in that game. And Columbus, one night after beating the Rockers, 8-0. Well, there are a lot of reasons you could have looked at as to why it happened, but it happened. And the River Dragons had to start a new streak, which they have, to, have done. They are back on a Tim Hortons win streak now. It's not nearly 16 games. The River Dragons at this point have just kind of gotten it back into gear and have won three in a row. So Columbus back on that win streak and coming into tonight at 33-4, and 1 110 points. They've already sewn up a playoff spot in the Continental Division. Now the countdown is on to sewing up the Continental Division itself and the FPHL title. The Rockers come in at 23-16, That's 85 points. Second place in the Empire Division, Motor City has also sewn up a playoff spot. And the Rockers, uh, again, one of the few teams to beat the River Dragons. Only four regulation losses this year to three teams. This is one of the three teams. So a tough test for the River Dragons here tonight. But as you can see from the numbers, as you take a look at it, both teams doing well in their last 10. Columbus 8-1-1, one, 7-3-0 one, oh for Motor City. But a huge difference in the goal differential. Plus 113. That is not an error. Plus 113 goals for the River Dragons this year. Plus 23 for Motor City. Scoring goals has not been the problem for the River Dragons this season. As we take a look at the standings a little bit more, the two teams in the Continental that have clinched spots in the postseason, Columbus and Carolina, it is still up for grabs. Port Huron at 68, Mississippi at 58, and Blue Ridge not out of the equation yet at 41, Baton Rouge at 33, not going to make the playoffs. Of course, the question of playoff seeding is also an important one here. Port Huron should be closing out a spot relatively soon. But, and in the Empire, just real quick to let you know, Elmira and Watertown, only four points apart. 
Elmira's up by four points, but two more games played. So anything can happen as to who is the final team to make it out of the Empire and into the postseason. But the important numbers for Columbus fans to know. So it is a three points or regulation win system in the FPHL. So that means when you're looking at what do we need to lock out Carolina. Now to me, I give you the numbers that means locking out without going to tiebreakers. So no question, no doubter, Carolina's locked out. Well, Carolina, 47 games played. They did play and win on Wednesday night. But that means they have nine games left. Nine times three, 27. 27 plus 97 gives you 124. That is the maximum number of points Carolina can come up with is 124 points. 14-point gap with the River Dragons. That means for it to be a no-doubter, Columbus needs 15 points. So... 15 points, any combination of which can come from Columbus wins and Carolina losses, and the River Dragons sew up the Continental Division title. Now, Binghamton in the Empire Division, 45 games played in a 56-game season. They have 11 to go, 33 total possible points. They can get to 134 on the season. So it's a pretty easy math there. We just add 10. So that means 25 points. So it's 15 points to lock out Carolina, no doubter. 25 points to lock out Binghamton without a doubt and no tiebreakers necessary to win the FBHL title. And again, anytime Carolina or Binghamton fails to pick up a point, so if they go to overtime, they're losing a point. Even if they win, it's two points for an overtime or shootout win. If they lose, if they lose in a shootout, if they lose any way past regulation, those are areas where you subtract the points they did not get from that total. So for the River Dragons, the simplest path, win five, and you lock out Carolina, even if Carolina goes perfect the rest of the way. For Binghamton, if you want to get to 25 points, well, that's going to take nine wins. Without a question, there's nothing Binghamton could do if you get those nine wins in your last 12 games, you lock them out. 44 games played for the River Dragons is the fewest in the Continental Division and in fact it's the fewest in the FPHL at this point. Columbus has six at home and six on the road remaining three at home this weekend three on the road next weekend and then as we turn the calendar to April an even mix that will culminate the final weekend of the regular season with two games in Carolina and then the third and final game of the regular season back here on April 13th for Fan Appreciation Night. That's going to be a big one. Let's pack the arena for that night, it's against the Thunderbirds, and on Fan Appreciation Night, there's going to be plenty of giveaways, all kinds of fun things going on, contest prizes. It'll be a great night to be out here, so let's pack the Columbus Civic Center for that one, and it should be an awful lot of fun and a great way to head into the postseason for the Columbus River Dragons. All right, we have plenty to get to in our Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're going to talk a little bit more about the Rockers, the River Dragons, some of the roster moves taking place. And we are also going to get to our Zelbo zipping out of town scoreboard. March Madness is in full effect, and we have plenty of games to update on that men's basketball scoreboard, so we will be doing that. And stay tuned because we have our chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard coming up in just a little bit as well. There is still time to get down here. If you want to join us, the Rockers and the River Dragons dropping the puck here just past the bottom of the hour, 7.35 puck drop, and we would love to see you join us here at the Columbus Civic Center. And again, it is college night here, students with ID, $1 off tickets at the box office. We look forward to seeing you join us. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey, back with more in a moment. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change.
Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. <laughs> Internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. And we're back in the Air Force Senior Engineer pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you. They're finishing up the warm-ups down there on the ice. River Dragons backing up tonight is Hunter Verostek. And you see him, if you're watching on the YouTube side, just finishing off here with the uh, the warm-ups. River Dragons in red. They always wear red on Friday nights. And red, of course, stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. We encourage you to wear your red on Fridays to show your support for our men and women, not only currently in uniform, but of course our veterans. And we thank you all very much for your service in Columbus. Obviously a big military town and uh, we love the folks that are here. And this year, once again, sold out military appreciation night. And we love, love, love to be able to bring the, the soldiers out, give them a little bit of a break from going through, well, everything that they're enduring over there, going through training and just, you know, getting ready for their careers in a lot of cases and uh, you know it's it's nice to be able to give them a night of fun and enjoyment and come out and let them hoot and holler to some River Dragons hockey and of course Columbus winning on Military Appreciation Night this year so uh, we appreciate everyone who does help us provide that chance as well. Okay so as everybody filters off the ice here we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on with both of these teams so the first thing I want to mention is that uh, head coach Jerome Bichard, first of all, congratulations to the Bichard family. Boomer's daughter's getting married this weekend, and so I did record our interview earlier today with Boom, but he's not going to be here behind the bench tonight. It's going to be Jay Krupp, who is coaching this River Dragons hockey team. And Jay will be directing the club here this evening and tomorrow. Now Sunday, Boomer is expected back behind the bench, provided everything goes well, and uh, we trust it will on the weekend. So congratulations first and foremost to the BCR family, but uh, also, you know, Boomer, a couple of well-deserved days away here from coaching the River Dragons against the Rockers. He will be back on Sunday. And then as we take a look through what's going on in the league transactions, a couple of interesting things that uh, came across the desk Several signings by the Motor City Rockers, and a couple of them potentially in the lineup here tonight, including Ty Barnhill and Tim Delaney, who signed with the team only yesterday before coming in on this road trip here. The Rockers also placed Roman Gaudet on the 15-day IR and returning from suspension on March 18th, Danny Vanderweel. So Vanderweel is back in the lineup here tonight for the Rockers as well. Now on St. Patrick's Day that Sunday, the Rockers did release Devin Fields and Blake Scott. They signed Jonathan Giuliano, and Trevor Babin came back from his loan in Kalamazoo of the ECHL. So kind of a busy week for the Motor City Rockers. For the River Dragons, not so much, not uh, nearly as busy as that. Uh, another one that I wanted to kind of mention, a couple of guys go on to season-ending IR. Uh, one was in Blue Ridge. Cody Oaks went on to the season-ending IR for the Bobcats. And then also for the Zydeco, Matthias Telstrom on to the season-ending IR. Also, interestingly enough, the Zydeco released goaltender Greg Harney on waivers earlier this week. So kind of curious to see where Harney might end up. Uh, and Don Carter Jr. right back onto the IR just after he got off the IR for the Zydeco, who continue to kind of cycle some guys in and out uh, of that organization in Blue Ridge. A lot of movement this week. And a couple of former River Dragons. I know, fans, you like to keep tabs on the boys who were here before Richard Yelensky's released by Blue Ridge on waivers. And MGM 
Uh, Marquise Grant Mentis released by the Elmira River Sharks earlier this week as well. Who placed Frankie McClendon on the 15-day IR? So full transactions are always available at federalhockey.com, the league's website. You can always check into those there. But just uh, some, some notes I thought that would be of interest to River Dragons fans, especially those who... Uh, are a little bit uh, longer in the tooth, so to speak, or in the fang, perhaps, if you're a Dragons fan. So, All right, coming into tonight, the River Dragons and the Motor City Rockers, a three-game set Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tonight, 7.35. Tomorrow, 7.05, 4.05 on Sunday. One of the key things that's going to really catch your eye with this matchup this weekend is going to be the special teams battle. And... I know there have been some special teams battles that have been either close or kind of nip-tuck, but this one in particular, I think, is the one to keep an eye on. You've got the number two power play in Motor City, the number three power play in Columbus. You've got the number two power pl or penalty kill, pardon me, the number three penalty kill in Motor City, and the number one penalty kill in the Columbus River Dragons. So the River Dragons are the best penalty killing team in the league against the second best power play. The River Dragons number three power play is against the number three penalty kill. So both of those teams are excellent at what they do. Plenty of talent on both ends of that special teams equation. And for Columbus, again, just kind of a scenario where the River Dragons really need to kind of take a look and say, hey, you know what? This is really where this weekend could be won and lost. And for Columbus, I think that that's one of the more important things that they could possibly uh, try to get their heads around is to be able to go ahead and find ways to win that. And it's a little extra effort, a little extra hustle, uh, making the right play, the smart play, and really trying to make sure that they're able to, whether it's you know block out well on the penalty kill, maintain the integrity of the box, the discipline, and the hard work required on the PK, and maybe just, you know, getting an extra shot on the power play and maybe not trying to find the cute play because of how good Motor City is. Instead, it's finding the good play, the good shot, letting it go, get a rebound, get some traffic. And Columbus is very good at funneling pucks to the net, get some bodies there, make things happen for yourself. And that's what the River Dragons need to focus on here this weekend in that special teams battle. All right, let's take another break here in the uh, Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. When we come back, we'll get through that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard and then our chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome B. Shard. Stay tuned. More coming your way in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. A sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit and Simply Orange Juice on the Chick-fil-A app. Real guests paid for their testimonials. All right, and we are back. 
Here on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show, Tom Callahan here with you. Thank you so much for joining us as we are counting it down to puck drop here at the bottom of the hour, 7.35 p.m. on that puck drop. We appreciate you joining us here. River Dragons and the Rockers coming up not too far away, but still got about 15 minutes if you want to get down here. Come on down. Parking's free. Uncle Scotty used to say he'd take care of it for you. Well, now I guess it falls on me. I'll take care of parking for you. And, uh, by the way, we hope, uh, Scott Brand, that uh, you're doing well. If you happen to be tuning us in and any Rockers fans we have along for the ride, we appreciate you being here. Thanks for being a part of Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Out of town scoreboard is brought to you by Zelmo Zip-In. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999 in the FPHL tonight. A busy Friday night, 10 of the 11 in action. And right now in the first period, Watertown and Binghamton are scoreless at the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in Elmira, or pardon me, in McMoran Arena in Port Huron. Elmira has a 1-0 lead about halfway through the first period over the Port Huron Prowlers. The Danbury Hattricks and the Blue Ridge Bobcats will be dropping the puck here at the bottom of the hour right along with us. And at 7.35 Eastern as well, the Baton Rouge Zydeco are at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex against the Carolina Thunderbirds. In the National Hockey League on a Friday night, four games to tell you about. In the first period right now, scoreless as the Hurricanes and Capitals are just underway. And the Hurricanes already out to a 7-1 shot advantage on the Washington Capitals. That's only about seven minutes into that game. 8 o'clock puck drop in the Eastern time zone. you got... Penguins at the Stars. 9 o'clock, the Blue Jackets are at the Avalanche. 10 o'clock, you got the Kraken at the Coyotes. And men's college hoops, how busted is your bracket? Finals from earlier today. Look, it's a fair question. Finals from earlier today. Number one, UConn, 91-52 winners over Stetson. Number two, Marquette, 87-69 over Western Kentucky. Number three, Baylor, 92-67 over Colgate. Number 13, Yale upsets number four, Auburn, in the East Region first round, 78-76. Number five, San Diego State beats local heroes UAB, 69-65. Number six, Clemson, 77-56 over New Mexico. Number 10, Colorado minor upset, 102-100 over number seven, Florida. And number nine, Northwestern, 77-65 over number eight, Florida Atlantic. Game's going on right now. It's early in the first half, but number eight, Nebraska, 22-20 over number nine, Texas A&M. Number four, Duke, 6-3 lead over number 13, Vermont. Coming up here in just a little bit, you've got number one, Purdue, at number 16, Grambling. Number four, Alabama, and number 13, Charleston. Then at 9-20 in the Eastern time zone, you got number one, Houston, at number 16, Longwood. Number five, Wisconsin, at number 12, James Madison, at 940. Number nine, TCU, and number eight, Utah State at 9.55. At 10.05, you've got number five, St. Mary's, and number 12, Grand Canyon, to round out the night's action in men's college basketball. So that's it for our look at the Zelmo's zip-in out-of-town scoreboard as the River Dragons and the Rockers going head-to-head in just a little bit. And, uh, boy, I tell you what, it's an interesting year in men's college basketball, the way that tournament is going. And, it's interesting to watch the NHL playoffs charge down the stretch. And then, of course, we've got an awful lot of interesting things to take a look at right here in the FPHL. I want to go back to the standings for a moment and talk a little bit about teams trying to lock out playoff spots. And explaining how the math works, basically you take every team's number of remaining games, multiply it by three, and that is the most points they can earn. So if every team goes perfect from here on out for the rest of the year, gets all three points... That's what their possible max points is. Once you get past that possible max point number of whatever is left on the table for them and what they currently have, so you add those two together, that's when you figure out how you can lock out teams. So again, the pre, uh, the uh, pardon me, the River Dragons can lock out the Carolina Thunderbirds with 15 points. They can lock out Binghamton for the league title, so locking out Carolina would lock up the Continental Division. To lock up the league title, which would be home ice not only all the way through the playoffs, but also in that Commissioner's Cup final, at least to ensure that, would be 25 points. So how can Columbus do that? Well, with 12 games left, Columbus has a very nice tidy 36 points remaining. So 
For a team that's 33-4-3-3-1, comfortable, it's an 8-33 win percentage this year for Columbus. They have some room left on the table. What do they need to do? They need to take care of business. How important is this weekend series against the Motor City Rockers? Extremely, because between Motor City and Carolina, these are probably the toughest tests remaining on the River Dragon schedule. And to show themselves that they're not only playoff worthy, but playoff ready, they need to get down to business and take these teams out in the weekend sets. All right, coming up next, it's our chat with the River Dragons head coach, Jerome Bichard. We're back with more in a moment on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. This is River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Welcome back on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. And Boomer, big three-game set coming up this weekend against the Motor City Rockers, a team you've seen one time before. Let's dive in a little bit to the matchup. What do you see about Motor City that might give you a little bit of trouble? Well, you know what? I think they skate well. Um, they're physical, um, but not overly physical. I mean, I think their biggest thing is they can they skate and uh, they play hockey the right way. They they play pretty direct. They try to get the puck in deep. They try to work you and this and that. So, I mean, uh, it's a good test. They're the ones that uh, broke our streak, uh, per se. So, uh, a little payback and make sure that, uh, you know, we take care of business. I know Justin McDonald said after the streak was broken, hey, it's a wake up call to us. We have to understand that we just can't take every game lightly because you did come off a big win on that Friday and then lost the next night. Is that something you see this team taking the heart? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I say yes and no. Uh, I mean, it's been a couple of weeks since we've seen them, and you know we haven't played our best hockey uh, in the last couple of weeks. So, uh, I mean, I and I think uh, not that we're taking people for granted or this and that. It's just that it, it it's really tough to stay at a level, um, you know, as high as we can play, you know, for 60 minutes every single night. And uh, um, whether you're good or not, I mean, it's it's tough to, to get have 18 guys rolling at the same time, uh, per se. So, um, yeah, like, I mean, every game is a challenge. Uh, and it's a different challenge than, uh, you know, just going out winning games. We got to we got to challenge ourselves and we got to push ourselves to continue because because we're able to do some easy things or things that come easy with certain teams. Um, we can't do the easy things. We got to do the hard things and, and uh, um, you know, kind of pay the price. I think it's it, when a, a lot of coaches, and you say it as well, I mean, playing the game the right way. If you would explain that to fans who are like, okay, well, what is the right way? What would you say? You know what? Making that first pass, not cheating, not, uh, you know, um, 
our, our players being in the right positions all the time, not cheating, not stretching, not uh, trying to go for that breakaway pass all the time, uh, stops and starts, uh, finishing your checks, um, you know, um, n none of this, uh, none of this looping and solution and, you know, I guess if you want to call it European style kind of, you know, run and gun kind of hockey. And then uh, let's uh, turn our attention back to the River Dragons here. You've had your roster set, uh, bumps and bruises wise accepted. I mean, do you feel like the team is kind of gearing up? I know everybody goes through their peaks and their valleys. Do you feel like maybe well, you hit your little bit of a lull here before the playoff stretch run? Um, you know what? We've been pretty fortunate with some injuries uh, all along, so are, are not a whole lot. So we've been pretty good other than some normal bumps and bruises, some block shots and uh, this and that. So we've been pretty pretty healthy that way and we're still pretty healthy uh, and I think it's just rest time and you know what I mean um, combine you know a bump and a bruise with a three game and three nights you know there's nobody in that locker room that wants to sit at, ever um, so I think it's just a matter of almost being honest with yourself as a person an athlete you know where are you standing how do you stack up I got I got some guys I can, uh, you know, uh, spot in and, and give more ice to or, or this and that. So really it's a matter of, you know, being honest and making sure that, uh, you know, we're at, at the peak uh, when we hit the playoffs. All right, then let's wrap it all up with the keys to the game. Keys to the game, you know what, I think they, they come in uh, early this morning. Um, so we need to jump on them just like every other team that comes down south. Um, you know, let's leave their legs on the bus and make sure that they don't uh, have an opportunity right off the bat. Um, we need to simplify our game, make that first easy pass. We need to make that easy play. You know, if we don't have a, if we don't have a, you know, 100% tape to tape pass, let's keep the puck on the wall and chip ahead and let's uh, put it in an area where we know where it's going. Um, and, you know, hopefully our power play and our, our penalty kill is uh, on point. All right, Boomer, thanks for joining us. Best of luck tonight. You bet. Thank you. Back with a drop of the puck in just a moment. This Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do.
know. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. As uh, some of the kids get a little high five on the way out there, we had 60 middle school kids here to do the anthem here. And also now we have a puck drop coming up in just a moment. But the River Dragons taking on the Motor City Rockers. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We appreciate you being here. Heard those of you tuning in from up north uh, might be dealing with a little bit of the white stuff. So everybody who is in Michigan or perhaps New York, New England, wherever you happen to be, and dealing with a little bit of snow on the ground, well, we've had uh, steady rain here in the area. And I'm sure it will hurt your feelings to know it was in the low 60s today. But that does make it a little humid in here. Although fortunately, uh, not quite like when we get into playoff time in May if we get some of those 80 and 90 degree days, but and take a minute for the smoke to clear for the pregame show. So while we're doing that, let's take a look at tonight's starting goaltenders. And starting in there for the Columbus River Dragons, Brendan Colgan. He's 22-0-1 on the season with a 2.77 goals against 900 save percentage. And time for the league lead with a pair of shutouts. He's opposed by Trevor Babin, 18-8-0-4 with a 2.85 and a 9.20 for Babin, who just came back from a loan to Kalamazoo in the ECHL last weekend. And so the River Dragons rolling left right in front of the broadcast location, wearing their red uniforms on a Friday. We're ready to drop the puck. First and only visit for the Rockers this weekend down here to Columbus. And we are underway. Columbus controls the draw. They'll start from center and fire one right in on Babin, who elects to scoop it aside. Babin is one of the more active puck playing goaltenders in the league. And so Columbus will certainly try to get him to uh, try to make some mistakes if possible. But in the meantime, they just turn the puck over right side and McDonald fanned on a shot there. On the right wing, McDonald trying to keep it alive, does to the corner to Hunter. We're going to talk about some of the stats on this line a little bit later in this first period, but just the incredible streak they're on, including Justin McDonald, 34 straight games with a point, which is a league record that extends every time he gets another point in a game. McDonald's shot is blocked by traffic, and now back the other way, the Rockers up the left side. Svintsov tried to loop in, now he leaves the side of the net. There's a shot, Colgan save, hugging the right post there as Conway cut in. Now another attempt, that was blocked, and Slahetka a little slow to get up. He actually might have a skate issue. Trying to pop his blade back in, it looks like. Puck comes up to the right point, Vanderwill keeping it in there. And it'll be wedged out to center, a bouncing puck to the right side. Ends up with Kyle Moore. Moore in traffic, trying to hang on to it, could not. Rotondi will dump it in. And both teams change it up here. Buck 20 gone in the opening frame. Scoreless between the Dragons and the Rockers. Now turned over inside the zone. Here's Lane King, former River Dragon with a centering feed. That one knocked away. And Columbus up with it. Feed to Josh Petrantonio, the captain driving on the left wing side. He's rubbed out, lost the puck in the skates of the linesman. That allows the Rockers to clear. And, of course, the crowd getting on the linesman. Puck around to the far wall. Austin Doe along the wall. Jamaif trying to keep it alive. Puck to the left point. Long shot coming in. Babin save, rebound. On the right side, cleared off Petrantonio and has now moved out to center. Rockers start a defensive change. Columbus trying to get the puck to the center. Looks like they would like to do the same, but it's forced back in. Here's a chance up the right side. Smith moving in, but had the puck taken away. And Columbus quickly moving it up the right wing, but it's kept in at the left point. Long wrister in by Gulo. River Dragons will regroup. Here's Anderson on the left side. Back across to Duncan, who backhands it, but Petrantonio was no longer on the wing, heading for the change. Rockers will send it back in. Two and a half gone here in the first. No score. They'll try to set up on the right side. Spins off to the right point, swung over to the left side. Miguel Diaz with a shot. That one knocked away off of Duncan in front. Puck tipped right in front of the net, but Ryan Hunter away with it. Moore back to Hunter. Here's Hunter left side. He's got room. Cutting it. I go to the backhand. And he couldn't quite get the shot away. Babin might have got a poke check in there. 
River Dragons on it again. Puck at the right point. Underwood hustles it over to the left side. Wrist shot coming in. Tipped on the way in. Save Bavin. Rebound Hunter. Near corner McDonald. McDonald up top. So shot coming in again. Bavin stick save over to the far side. Behind the net it goes. Rolls away from McDonald. He tries to catch up with it. Svensson forced behind his own net. Gave it up in the corner to Moore. Moore looking in front. And the pass through the crease out the other side. Underwood at the right point. Down to the dot, feeds the slot, but turned it over. And now back the other way. Here's Conaway in the left wing, but he overskates the puck, then gets shouldered off by Bockwell. They go to the corner together. That behind the net, now a quick return near side, and the puck scoots away on the near wing. Columbus able to move it away to center. Boy, it's been a busy opening, almost four minutes here. Nary a whistle in this one. Some end-to-end -end action as Bersani follows through with a check there on TJ Sneath. Puck wedged high in the air out to center where it bounces down and into the Columbus end. Underwood has to hook it away. Motor City quickly turning it back. Will that be icing? No, they say it was deflected by King. Columbus will reset. Sonny with a pass through center, missed a couple of people. No icing, Babbitt out to play it. He'll fling it around the far side. Gulo in the corner. Tied up over there, Bersani played past Storjahan. Rolling puck to the near side, Motor City trying to move it out. Koash will backhand it along, that could be icing and will be the first whistle of the hockey game. As Slahetka wins the race back. Boy, that barely gives us our first chance to breathe and give you tonight's referee introductions, which are brought to you by the Optical Shop in Phoenix City, where right now for just $99 and a bag of chips, you can get two pair of eyeglasses. By the way, the flavor of chips entirely up to you. Brian Cole and Phil Rusler are your referees, numbers 34 and 73. Linesman Corey Fossa, number 96 and number 75, Alex Cole. Puck is at center. Columbus pushing in. Shinkarik on the right side. Led Petrantonio a little too far. Shinkarik had to get it. Petrantonio quick shot. Deflected in front. Doe pushed it across the crease. Out the other side. Cycled behind the net. Petrantonio trying to escape the check over there. And he's put into the glass pretty heavily by Smith. Puck up the wall. Hitting is picking up already in this one. Boy, these two teams certainly don't like each other. And it continues. Right side. Petrantonio hooked up. Couldn't get a shot away. Crowd wanted a penalty there. Won't get it. Cycle on the right side, a centering feed. Puck popped up in the air, ends up on the near side wall. Svintsov wants to get it to the point. Bouncer there just over the line. Shinkarik will back up on it and curl in front of his own net. Lead pass to center. That one missed McDonald, but he'll get to it. No icing, gets a shot. Now the puck in front and sent wide by Moore, who as he turns away looks at the ceiling. Felt like he had room on the stick side and just missed. Giuliano dumps it in for the Rockers, far side corner. There's a centering feed for King, knocked away from him to the point, but not out of the zone, kept in on the left side. Puck right in front, pinballs off the skates of Conway out the other way. Three on three, River Dragons attack. Moore off his skates, couldn't corral. Vanderwill behind his own net, leaves it back off on the near side. Rotondi up the wall. King out to center, and that would have swept down the ice, back into the Columbus end, and that's an icing call as Anderson back first. That will get us to our first break of the period. 6-17 into this opening frame. It has been a whirlwind. No score yet. Dragons with a 5-3 lead in the shots on goal department. Back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hello there. My name is Seychelle. And what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Get internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. 
Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood. Back here on River Dragons Hockey, Tom Callahan here with you. And want to say thanks to everybody joining us here in this first period. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. Faceoff coming up to the left here, Babbitt. And the puck tied up in the circle here. Played around to the far side, ends up at the left point. Wickline keeping it in. Tied up on that left side wall, and boy, the pile getting aggressive already. Scootry up top, Bersani with a long shot, glove down by Babb, and he'll hold on. 6.35 into the first. Right now on our Dash app, a couple of broken goal sticks up for raffle that are team autographed. If you uh, want that sort of thing for your man cave, your she shed, your garage, maybe in your living room. Who knows? Right on the fireplace mantle. Feel free to jump on and auction away in the Dash app. And don't forget, if you don't have the Dash app and you haven't signed up yet, all you need to do is text the word DASH to 66866. That's 66866. And sign up today. River Dragons win the draw. Petrantonio with a shot blocked in front by the defense. Puck carry the other way. And it's dumped in around past Colgan onto the left wing side. Big hit on the near side by Petrantonio as he dropped Gulo. Looks over to make sure he got the license plate of the truck, but the hitting continues. Doe in on the right wing side. Tried to play it deep. He got knocked down. It's played away now. Gulo the other way. Here comes Motor City driving to the left side. In with a chance and a backhand sent wide there by Smith. Under the far wing, chance in front of the net is tipped just in front of Colgan. Petra Antonio to the line, not out. McGill Diaz holding it in with a shot, and that off the stick of Jemayev goes to the far corner. Puck in front, Shinkarik on it. Right side, Petra Antonio. He'll lob one ahead. Little too far there for Doe, who elects to just curl back to the bench. Five fresh skaters out for the Columbus River Dragons. Dumped in behind Colgan, over to the far corner. Duncan shouldering with his man Delaney in the far side. That's TJ Delaney. There's also Tim Delaney wearing number 18 for Motor City. Falling there is Sequoia Swan, couldn't clear. TJ Delaney with it into the left side corner. Here's a chance, short side. Svinsov walks in front, jams away. Colgan able to make the save, and he hangs on. So Brennan Colgan with probably his Biggest test so far here in the first period. Not quite eight minutes into this opening frame. Still looking for the first goal of the game. Shot 6-5 in favor of Columbus. We've had hitting. We've had... Some pretty decent goaltending and some good shot attempts here so far. We're just getting it going. First of three between these two teams tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday afternoon. Right side, here's Moore. Carries in over the line. Kyle Moore scoots through a check. Looking in front. Moore backdoor shot. Oh, what a save by Babin with a right pad. Puck to the point, not out. Kept in there. Anderson around behind the net, sent to the slot. Moore had a bouncing puck and couldn't get his shot away. And Trevor Babin, big stop early on. Columbus, left side, they'll try to move it ahead. That puck is deflected into the right wing. McDonald watching there, and he'll curl away now. Columbus looking to work on a change. That one is sent down, icing on the way. And we do get the whistle here. 8.53 into this opening frame which, as I've told you, is brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland and the next team with the River Dragons event at Chick-fil-A Midland will be on Tuesday, March 26th from 6 to 7 p.m. Come eat with the team and get autographs, pictures, and more. That's only at Chick-fil-A Midland Tuesday, March 26th from 6 to 7 p.m. Puck drop is controlled by Columbus. On the right side, here's Storjaham, the shot that's blocked by traffic, and the puck sent away to center. 
River Dragons must tag up. They dump it back in. Boy, somehow Motor City got away with too many men out there. Wick line on the right side. Puck deflects to the point. Underwood a shot. Save Babin with the left pad. Bersani behind the net to Wick line. Let's go to the far corner. Swung around towards the left wing side. Storjahan tried to send it deep. Moved around to the near side. Underwood holding in from the right point. Around it goes to the far side wall. Koash trying to move it out. He takes a bump from Wickline. Puck sent deep once again. Vanderweel on it. And this time the River Dragons beginning to pull out here. Going to work on a change. Is the puck away to center. Kicked that by Underwood. Back towards Bersani. He tried to tip it on to Doe. He was knocked down by Rotondi. Columbus will wait it out here. Looking for the change. He'll try the right side. And here comes Austin Doe driving. Stops on the hash marks. Looking up top. Feeds it up there. Shot coming in. Deflected wide. Ends up in the near corner and wedged out by the Rockers to center where they pick it up. They'll try to drive in on the right side. Svintsov carrying in on goal. Shot save made. Colgan puck in front. And he'll hang on as Doe gives it quickly back to the keeper. Had the paddle down. Flops the mid over it to hang on. Still scoreless here in the first 9.47 to go in this opening frame. Rockers and River Dragons. This is the Chick-fil-A first period. Back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hey, y'all. My name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A spicy chicken biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A spicy chicken biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Passions. Back here at the Columbus Civic Center. Tom Callahan here with you. Cast of thousands here on a Friday night. Don't forget tomorrow night, back at it again on Phoenix City night. Discounted tickets for all Phoenix City employees. And then Sunday matinee hockey, 4.05 p.m. Motor City in town for the three-game set this weekend. Draw to the right of Brennan Colgan. And Motor City controlling this offensive zone draw. Svintsov trying to cut in front. Puck pinballs off a shin pad. And Wide of the net, ends up near side. T.J. Delaney up to the left point. McGill Diaz keeps it in. Delaney quickly across, now behind the net. Svintsov waiting for it. He's on to the near side. Centering attempt hits Lahetka in the skates. And Columbus moving it away. Bounced ahead, Jamev trying to get it towards Doe, left side. Doe tied up in a pile in front of the Motor City bench. Now it's pushed ahead and knocked down as Petrantonio. No call on that one as Finsoff sends it down the ice. Both teams working on a change here, and they wave off icing Slahetka after it. He'll leave it around to Duncan. And now Columbus putting out more Hunter and McDonald. Motor City electing to regroup all the way back into its own end. Puck at center picked off by Ryan Hunter. Hunter steps it over the line ahead for McDonald. Kicks off him into the corner. He centers looking for more, but the puck tipped up in the air. Rockers the other way, led by King, who backs in over the line, trying to feed it up top. That hit Hunter in the skates. Moore turning with it now. Moore's got pressure from behind, feeds it ahead, and he gets it through. Here's Hunter in with McDonald, cutting in McDonald's shot. He scores! Ryan Hunter with the last-minute feed across to Justin McDonald, who buries it under the crossbar. River Dragon strike first. It's 1-0. And let's count it up. 35 straight games with a point. 35. Justin McDonald continues to extend his lead record scoring streak. 11:31, time of the goal. Hunter, the primary assist that extends his personal scoring streak 
to eight games as well. That's his 36th of the year. Here comes Columbus in again. Store job with a shot. Penalty pending here. And the River Dragons trying to get the extra man out there. Touched up by Motor City. Did the whistle go? Uh, no, it didn't. All right, River Dragons will regroup. I thought perhaps Motor City had possessed, but they did not. Columbus will regroup at center and push in. Extra man is out. It's McDonald. He'll flip it back across into the left side corner. Wick line. Penalty is delayed. And if Motor City able to touch the puck here, River Dragons are the man advantage. But for now, Storjahan with a shot blocked away in front. Finally, Koash will touch the puck. And the penalty call will be whistled. Rotondi is heading to the box for Motor City. First power play of the game for either side. Rotondi for high sticking in the River Dragons onto the loft power play for the first time tonight. The loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stub for a two for one deal on cover. River Dragons power play third in the league at 27.4%. Third on the kill for the Rockers at 83.2%. Talked about it in the pregame show. This special teams matchup is going to be a big one all week. By the way, Kyle Moore picks up an assist on the goal as well for Justin McDonald. So his scoring streak now at six games. So now that line heading into tonight. In the last five games, Moore, Hunter, and McDonald had 29 points between them. They are now up to 32. Here's Moore walking it right in front of the backhand. Bab in the save as he walks straight through the crease. Doe up top of the puck. McDonald one time and a blocker save there. Rebound is cleared off the glass and out it goes. All the way down, Colgan trying to play it ahead to McDonald, looking to catch the Rockers in a change. They step in, Storjahan cutting in right side. He dinks, and I don't know if he got the shot away. Puck stays out, puck in front. McDonald sending it across, back for Storjahan, but could not get to it. And now the other way, T.J. Delaney up the left side. In with a wrist shot, save Colgan. Big rebound, swept away by Wickline. Now Delaney in the slot, quick shot, fired high. 48 seconds to go on the man advantage. River Dragons up 1-0, 6.15 to go on the first. Vanderweel backs all the way into his own end, and Columbus will put the second unit out there. Puck played ahead. Koash was waiting for the breakaway pass, but the River Dragons recover. Koash has to head off the ice. Here's Shinkarek skating it in. Leaving onto the left side. Hunter with a quick shot. Bab and a good glove save, and he holds a rebound. Ryan Hunter. Try to go high glove to the near side on the southpaw netminder. I'll tell you what, Trevor Babbins had to be busy tonight. It's early in this one. It's 1-0 Columbus. 11-8 are the shots in favor of the River Dragons. And 22 seconds to go with a high sticking call against Rotondi. Face off to the right of the Rockers net. Side up on the dot, one back. Milam behind his own net. Pinched off on the wall back there. The pile forms. Puck free near side. And Wickline knocked down, but got it to the point. Hunter walks in, feeds over one time. Shakarik healed it wide. Now a chance side of the net, and Babin cut that one off of the post. Shakarik holding it in. Power play time is dwindling. Here's a chance, wrist shot, and again a stick save by Babin. Back to five on five. Still 1 0 Columbus. River Dragons over one with the man advantage. Here's Shinkarik up top with it. Drags the line. Rishon, he scores! <laughs> Carter Shinkarik backing up along the blue line with a wrist shot that may have been deflected in front of Babin. Certainly he was screened on the play. Beats him over the shoulder just under the crossbar. And it's 2-0 River Dragons. So many bodies, so much traffic. And again, potential deflection. But Shinkarik letting it go, and for now, he's getting credit for the goal. 14-41, time of the marker, and it's 2-0 Columbus. 
Shinkarik's 15th of the year. See what kind of response Motor City has here as Columbus tries to push right back in. Swan tied up behind the net. Puck on the near side. Columbus keeping it in. Bersani into the slot. Storjohan a shot, and that one deflected to the glass. Bersani in front again, right through the goal mouth, up to the right point. Anderson waiting there. On to the right side. He'll get it to Swan. Behind the net it goes over the stick of Storjohan. Down for the left point, keeping it in is Brody Duncan. Duncan in the corner, trying to move it along. Now up the near side as well. Down to the right point, Anderson keeps the play alive. Anderson all the way around behind the net. The rookie Hugh Anderson out the far side. Curls it on goal off the outside of the cage. And it ends up with Smith. He'll play it towards the line, and finally it's jammed out to center. Duncan banking the puck ahead. McDonald looking and flings it in. Ryan Hunter now joining on the line change. Wells will try the near side. Hunter all over him, stole the puck away at center. And Hunter will loop back with it. Here's Hunter in the right wing. He'll cut in wide with speed, leaving for McDonald at the dot. He was challenged there. Moore trying to get over and take it away from McGill Diaz. He'll try the far side, backhands off the glass and out. Puck at the line, McDonald try to walk it back in, lost it in his skates. McDonald. We'll fire it in around the rim. Babin out to play the bouncer, leaves it there. Rotondi banks it up the far side, and it's cleared away. Back to Underwood at the Columbus line. Little chip into space there, doesn't work for Columbus. Right back in, Motor City will now try the right wing, but that's checked off the stick there of Giuliano, and the puck away to center. River Dragons changing, 3.15 to go in the first, 2-0 Columbus. Shinkarek's goal from Wickline and Hunter. It is an even strength goal that came just after the power play expired, so Ryan Hunter's got a pair of assists tonight. Columbus resetting the break behind its own net, finishing up a line change here. And now they'll look to move it ahead. Here's Petra Antonio. The pass at center is picked off there and turned the other way by T.J. Sneath. Left side, looking for Lane King. Turn the other way, and now Petrantonio ahead. Looking for Jamaif. Jamaif tied up and had the stick knocked out of his hands from behind. No call there. Back come the Rockers. A little flip pass to the back door and unable to connect to a sneak. Here's Shinkarik after it. Columbus back the other way. River Dragons rush ahead. Left side, Jamaif. Wrist shot, blocker save. Rebound up to the point. Shinkarik trying to curl to keep it in. Ran into King. King flips it behind his own net to Vanderweel. And Columbus will change the line here. Rockers doing the same with two minutes left to go here in the period. Motor City with possession on the right side. They'll move out. Here's Coash and the wing in with a shot and a blocker saved by Colgan as he's out to greet it. Now the puck turned the other way. And again, Columbus trying to push ahead, left side. Here's a chance, Storjahan shut down by a left pad save there from Babin. Puck dumped back in. Motor City trying to get it onto there. Boy, the River Dragons have done a nice job for the most part hemming them in. No icing here as it goes back into the Columbus end. Duncan leaving it off. And up the right side, here's Anderson pushing along. In over the Motor City blue line, leaving it for Wickline. Wickline, tied up, lost it to Coash. And Coash now getting it across. And Gulo to center, where he's run into by Anderson. Dumps it down from there, no icing. Puck, funny kick off in the corner. Comes right back up the wall to Wickline. Under a minute to go here in the first. 2-0 Columbus. River Dragons will punch it in, but not very deep. Sent right back the other way. T.J. Delaney on it right side. He'll clear it along. Underwood racing back into his own end. In behind the net, he and Giuliano tied up. Giuliano centering feed, available in the slot. Save made by Colgan. Point blank there on T.J. Delaney. And now back comes the River Dragons, but Swan lost the puck in transition there. 
And now Motor City, Miguel Diaz turning away. 25 seconds. Rockers, one more rush perhaps before the end of the period. Svintsov in on the left side, feeds a high slot. Wrist shot is blocked by Duncan. Another attempt. That was fronted by Swan. Swan tried to clear, but the puck not out. Fed into the high slot. Svintsov into the left side corner. 10 seconds. Cut off by McDonald. McDonald off the glass, gets it ahead. Down it goes. That's going to be an icing call. Vanderweel back for the touch with 3.3 seconds left to go. And we're going to go ahead and grab our final media timeout. Whistles have been precious here tonight in the first period. More to come in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. I Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> hey y'all, my name is Tierra, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. This Beam, bringing East Alabama more. It's in our name. All right, 3.3 seconds to go in period number one here. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for listening on the radio side. 106.9 really rocks. And watching our broadcast on YouTube at Columbus River Dragons. And, of course, the replay of these games on Beam 7. Beam means bringing East Alabama more. And if you do happen to have Beam, we do re-air the games. That space is available. And then we have uh, one more live broadcast coming up over on the Christian Television Network. That will be one of the road games. And so the first period comes to a close off that faceoff. And now a little bit of chatting. Swan in the corner with one of the Rockers. But I think that's just more a discussion than anything else at this point. Although, number one, this first period went by very quickly. Good pace. And both teams really flying along out there. Certainly the River Dragons, I think, had the better of the scoring chances. They do score twice in that first period, but Motor City also playing with pace, playing with some speed, and again, a fairly clean period from the standpoint of not a lot of whistles. Uh, play was quick. There was one power play in that period. River Dragons did score twice, but for everything that uh, went by, in period number one, and it did go by quickly. Uh, it was a very good period of hockey. That was entertaining. And so right now, Columbus with that 2-0 lead, heading off into the locker room, certainly by no means is the job done, but period number one, and uh, playing without head coach Jerome Bichard here tonight. You know they want to play well without the man behind the bench. By the way, don't worry, Boomer is just uh, out tonight and tomorrow night for his daughter's wedding. So again, congratulations to the Bichard family. But right now, all's going according to plan. 2 nothing. River Dragons after one. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it's time for our Sun South John Deere first period intermission report. We'll look back at the scoring. And we'll also have a look at the Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard. But before we do that, we are going to be joined by Austin Doe in our first period intermission. So stay tuned. Our chat with Dozer is coming up next. It's on the other side of the break. 2 nothing after one. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. Dragons hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. 
we're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Welcome back to the First Period Intermission Report. We're joined by forward Austin Doe. Dozer, thanks for joining us here and I uh, wanted to catch up with you a little bit here. Things going pretty well for you guys this season overall. A big series coming up. Let's start with Motor City this weekend. How important is it? Yeah, it's big. Obviously, they're a good test. They're a good team. Um, I think they're probably one of the most structured teams probably in our league that play within their system. So, um, And they work hard, so uh, they're, they're always a good test. I know that last time when you guys went up there, uh, they broke that 16-game winning streak. Is there uh, any little bit of carryover from that? Has there been talk about it this week? No, nah, actually, no. No one's really said anything at all about it. I mean, that was a while ago, and we've been been doing pretty well since. So, uh, I mean, I mean, you know, as we get down to the stretch here, I think it's more just focused on tuning our game and you know trying to you know be the best we can for playoffs. You're one of the veteran leaders on this team, and I know that between you, Petro, Justin McDonald, I mean, you guys are the ones that uh, try to keep everybody on beam, on task. What's your message right now in the room to the guys? I mean, you know me, I don't pipe up too much. Uh, you know, just some, you know, the little things in between periods or whatever, if if there's just some small small adjustments or things we kind of notice that they're, they're doing or we're not doing, really. Um, like I said, right now, it's just kind of fine-tuning and, uh, you know, Hockey's a game of mistakes. The the least amount of mistakes we can you know limit ourselves, you know, the better off we're going to be. And I know there was a, there was a little bit of thought process for you at the end of last season. Do you come back for this season? Well, you do. And now the way things have gone this year, how are you feeling about that decision? Yeah, I'm really happy I played again. Um, you know, just the the group we have, you know, on and off the ice, it's been a lot of fun. And and playing with guys that I've been playing with for a little while, uh, I've really enjoyed it. So. You know, last goal in mind is to, uh, you know, get another ring, so. Trying not to be too assumptive here, but it looks like you guys might be having the most fun you've had in a while playing this game. I think so, yeah. I mean, as you get older, you you soak in the, you know, the time on and off the ice in the room with the guys. And, yeah, I mean, with the squad we have, uh, you know, most of our games are pretty enjoyable for the most part. So, yeah, it's been good. All right, well, Dose, thanks for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Back with more of the First Period Intermission Report in just a moment. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Oh. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. 
Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! time! Set the tone! Kyle, tie your shoes, tie your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. <laughs> Tom Callahan here with you as we are ready to take a look at the scoring wrap from that first period. Two goals to tell you about, and both of them belonging to the Columbus River Dragons. In the first period, it took us a little bit more than halfway to get through. We didn't have a lot of whistles in that period. It was a lot of end-to-end -end action, some pretty good back and forth. And at 11.31, one of the teams finally breaks through. Yes, it's Columbus. And if I were to ask you who you thought scored, you might actually be right because it's Justin McDonald with his team leading 36th goal of the year. With that goal, McDonald now has a point in 35 consecutive games. 32 goals, 49 assists for 81 points in that stretch. He has a point in every game dating all the way back to December 1st. An unbelievable run that continues every time he scores in a game. McDonald extends that league record point streak one more time. Now it's up to 35. Ryan Hunter and Kyle Moore, the assists on the goal at 11:31. Then at 14:41, Carter Shinkarik, his 15th from Hunter and Wickline. And that goal looked like it might have been deflected in front of Babin, but there was certainly a screen in front of Trevor Babin. It goes in just underneath the crossbar as it uh, hits the padded bar at the back of the net. And for Shinkarik with that goal, just a great job to be able to find a seam and get the puck through with the goaltender's eyes taken away, and it's 2-0 River Dragons after one period of play. Shots in the frame, Columbus 15, Motor City 11. Power plays, River Dragons 0 for 1, and no power play chances for the Motor City Rockers. Now let's take a look at our Zelmo Zippin out of town scoreboard. In the FPHL tonight, 10 of the 11 teams in action here this evening. Right now on the road, the Watertown Wolves with a 1 0 lead over the Binghamton Black Bears. And that game is just past the six minute mark of period number two. Also in the second period at McMoran Arena, import here on the Prowlers have tied the River Sharks at two. Meanwhile, through one period of play at the Apex Center in Withville, Virginia, the Blue Ridge Bobcats have a 1-0 lead over the Danbury Hattricks. And in the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, the Carolina Thunderbirds 1-0 leading the Baton Rouge Atico after one period of play. In the NHL, 
games going on right now. The Carolina Hurricanes with a 2-1 lead over the Washington Capitals. The Pittsburgh Penguins out to an early 1-0 first period lead over the Dallas Stars on Michael Bunting's 16th of the year. Coming up at 9 o'clock Eastern, you got the Blue Jackets at the Avalanche. And at 10 o'clock Eastern, the Kraken are at the Coyotes. And NCAA men's college basketball. A lot of bracket busting going on early in this tournament. Games from earlier today, number one, UConn beats number 16, Stetson. Number two, Marquette beats number 15, Western Kentucky. Number three, Baylor beats number 14, Colgate. But in the East region first round, number 13, Yale upsets number four, Auburn 78-76. Number five, San Diego State beats number 12, UAB 69-65. Number six, Clemson beats number 11, New Mexico. Number 10, Colorado, 102-100 over number 7, Florida. So minor upset in the South region. And in overtime, number 9, Northwestern, tops number 8, Florida Atlantic, 77-65. Games going on right now at the half. Number 9, Texas A&M leads number 8, Nebraska, 58-44, also at the half. Number 4, Duke, the slimmest of leads over number 13, Vermont, 34-29. In the first half, between Purdue and Grambling, the one seed Purdue Boilermakers up 21-13. In the first half as well, number four, Alabama, trailing number 13, Charleston, 19-13. 9-20 tip tonight. You've got number one, Houston, number 16, Longwood. At 9-40, number 12, James Madison, and number five, Wisconsin. At 9-55, number nine, TCU, at number eight, Utah State. And 10 5 number 12, Grand Canyon, at number five, St. Mary's. That rounds out your men's college basketball scoreboard here for the evening. And that's it for our Zelmo Zip in Out of Town scoreboard. Want to remind everybody you can save big at River City Swing Sets, your local Gorilla Play Sets authorized showroom, offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying... Go River Dragons. 2-0 Columbus after one period of play. When we come back, it'll be time for period number two. We're skating at five aside. When we return, River Dragons and the Rockers in the first of three here at the Columbus Civic Center on the weekend. Stay tuned. There's plenty more coming your way. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, 
a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Back on Columbus River Dragons hockey, just in time for second period action, and we can hear the chorus of boos greeting the officials. <laughs> I always think it's kind of funny. This is the second time I can recall this season where the River Dragons did not have a penalty called against him in the first period, and the crowd still booed the refs when they came out in the second period anyway, because why not? What else are you going to do? And the River Dragons take the ice now. Brendan Colgan skating down to the net to the right of our broadcast location. He will defend that cage for the second stanza. Columbus up 2-0 here. River Dragons hockey brought to you in part by BKI Accounting, a new age approach to old school accounting, specializing in payroll, bookkeeping, income, and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at bkiaccounting.com. And tonight's second period action is presented by WOW Internet, proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Motor City returning to the ice now as well. And the Rockers in their white road uniforms. Purple name and numbers. Purple and black stripes around the bottom of the jersey. Black helmets, black pants with the purple stripes outlined in white. River Dragons wearing red as they do on Friday nights. Tomorrow night, actually it's going to be interesting to see with a three-game weekend and no specialty jerseys because last Sunday was St. Patrick's Day. And if you're watching on YouTube, you're still seeing the merch commercials for the St. Patrick's Day merchandise. Limited edition, we'll have those up for the duration of the weekend, but you can feel free to get your order in at rdragonsmerch.com for those. I see some folks wearing them back here to this weekend's action. But the River Dragons, no specialty jerseys on the weekend, so I would imagine you're going to see the Blackouts and the Teals both this weekend. Columbus will start it off with McDonald, Moore, and Hunter. If you're just tuning in, yes, Justin McDonald already has a point in this game. 35 straight games with a point now for J-Mac. He had the first goal of the game for Columbus. River Dragons go to the attack here, dumping it in, but T.J. Delaney swings it away. A bouncer backhanded up through center. Svinsoff trying to cut in over the line, had it knocked away. And Hunter will ramp it around to the far side. River Dragons to center. Here's a lead on the wing. Hunter picks it up off the dasher, carrying wide. In on goal with a shot well high of the net. Kick back down behind the net by Moore. He'll loop out the near side, looking into the slot. Moore carries, sends it on goal, sticked away by Babin. Spence off the line, not out. There's a long shot in Babin, forced to make a right pad save. Moore cycles it deep. Rockers try to reverse on the near side. Moore had it chipped past him, and now back comes Motor City. Delaney on the right side, his pass off of Giuliano. Skates turn back to Moore. Moore ahead, here's McDonald in. McDonald cutting in, quick shot, save, rebound. Left pad save, and the rebound shot behind by Hunter. McDonald in front again, a shot and a glove save. Trevor Babin. Busy here to start the second. Oh, McDonald was sniffing for his second here early in period number two. 104 in. Already Columbus with a couple of beauties. I'll tell you what, Babin has played so well so far in this game. It could easily be 3 4 0. River Dragons keep the puck in at the line after the faceoff. Here's Petrantonio. Hooks it in front, right out through the other side, up to the right point, Shinkarik. Looking, looking. Rister, glove save Babin as he drifts out of the net. 
They'll hold on for a face-off. They're going to put this one back on the far side. Petrantonio, Doe, and Jemayev out there, along with Slahetka and Shinkarik. Face off, back to the point, long shot in, blockered away by Babbin to the far side, Glass. Cleared towards the blue line, not out. Columbus keeping in, left side here's Doe with a wrist shot, fought off by Babbin, he juggles and holds. And another whistle here, just 135 into the second. Boy, for as free flowing as the start of the first period was, we've already had a couple of whistles here in the second. I guess I was a little spoiled by the pace of play there in the opening frame, it was pretty good. And Columbus really going to work here to start this second. McDonald Moore, and Hunter right back out there. Duncan waiting for the drawback towards him. McDonald has to pitch it in behind the net after he got tied up. McGill Diaz trying to clear Kent. Duncan holding in, more challenged on the wall. Looking for a little bit of help in the pile here. Ryan Hunter trying to pull free from a check. More into the high slot. Puck across, kept in by Anderson. Banked into the far side. More wraps it around. To the near side, Moore hooked up, has to fight back for the puck, gets the stick up there, but no penalty call coming either way as Smith had him wrapped up pretty good. Rockers now trying to round the right side, get to center. Puck chipped away and sent away from Gulo. Now it's wedged in by McGill Diaz. He actually put it out of play, put it into the netting. Faceoff should go outside the zone, and it will. They get a fresh biscuit out there. Columbus making a full change here. They're going to put out Persani, Mastor Jahan, and Wickline. Bockwell and Underwood on the defensive pairing. Tied up on the dot, one back, Milam. He'll swing it around the rim. Past Colgan as it stayed up on the glass. Ends up on the far side, Svintsov in the pile there. Giuliano trying to dig it out. Fed back to the near side. Duncan chasing, try to one-hand it up the wall, couldn't get it out. TJ Delaney keeping it in, now puck to Storjahan. He will skate it away. Storjahan will flip into the left side corner and try to go in after it. Babbitt will play it away from him, near side Wickline ends up with it. Wickline. Store Jahan to the corner. Store Jahan looking for help from Wickline. And it's pushed back up the near side boards. Delaney rolling it out to center. Svintz off, shouldered off by Underwood. Nice play by Underwood to close the gap there quickly. Turn back. Store Jahan leaving it on to the left side. Played ahead and dumped in by Wickline. Columbus to the change. 3 10 gone here in the second. 2 0 River Dragons. Puck is flipped away to center ice. And now on the left wing, Conway trying to knock it in. A bouncing puck ends up on the near side. Columbus quickly back to center. Pass a little too hot for Doe to handle. Cleared off the skates of Wickline. Who's finally going to get to the bench here. Long, long, long shift for that line. Shinkarik will loop out from behind the Columbus net. Left side looking for Doe. Doe at the line. Feeds Jemayev, Jemayev down low, back in front, and it's taken away just before it got to Petrantonio by Sneath. Lead pass for Conway, too far, that should be icing, and it is, a Slahetka back first. And so the draw will come back into the Columbus end here, or pardon me, into the Motor City end. Well, there's only one Chick-fil-A Midland Kissing 99.3 Family 4-Pack Night left, and it's April 13th, Fan Appreciation Night. They're only available through the River Dragons office. Call 706-507-4625. That's 507-4625 to order yours today. And in a minute, I will tell you what you get with your Family 4-Pack. It's a pretty impressive list. Motor City pushing ahead at center. They'll dump it in on Colgan. He'll steer it aside. Slahetka turning up the right side wall. Cutting at the line, fed back in, but ends up right with Shinkarik. Shinkarik ahead to Jemayev. Jemayev has help as he cuts in over the line, feeds Doe, walks in. Doe cuts wide to the backhand in front. Bab and save, and the rebound past the far post. 
Rockers the other way. They'll backhand it away. And at center, here's Anderson. Trying to scoot away from his check. Nice job by Hugh Anderson. He was even pulled down on the play. Crowd wanted a penalty. Now Anderson dumped again by Conway. Still no call there, but boy, Anderson took the hit to make the play and had very strong body position and protected the puck the whole way. Great job by the rookie. Is now Duncan knocked down at center. Bodies are spilling. Smith in, tried a shot. Colgan plays it away into the corner. Turning back with it, Hunter behind his own net. A little chaotic, really, for the first time of the game. It's been pretty controlled until now. Hunter will flip it ahead right side into the corner after it is Moore. No icing. He looked to center. Ryan Hunter right side back for Moore. Moore lost it on the wall trying to go get it. It's cleared away. Duncan off his skate. Anderson comes out of the pile with it. Anderson trying to hook it ahead. That was taken away by Giuliano. But now the puck picked off and Columbus steps back in on the right side. Moore bullying his way down the wall. Hunter trying to follow it up. Giuliano clearing to the line. Bouncer just gets over. Bockwell chips it back in. Columbus had to tag up, and now they're going to start a change here as the puck sent down. Koash got a tip, no icing. River Dragons will regroup. They'll finish their line change here, so in no hurry to move it ahead. Delaney wants to force the play to center. Stretch pass there. Finds his way banked on. Storjahan in on the left wing with a shot. He scores! Alex Storjahan with a long-range wrister that might have caught Babin by surprise. Beats him on the glove side up high. 6-0-3 into the second. It's 3-0 River Dragons. Babin was shuffling to his right. And Storjahan... A pretty good shot, got a lot of velocity on it for a wrist shot from that distance out. And boy, Babin never got the glove up. That's number 20 on the season for Storch. And now with that, Storjahan joins McDonald, Petrantonio, Kyle Moore, Alexander Jamaev, and Ryan Hunter in the 20 goal column. And now we get. A penalty against Sequoia Swan before the puck was dropped here from the faceoff at center. So Swan was just given two minutes for slashing, and the River Dragons want to know why. When he and Conway were both jousting at center, and the referee was very animated in his call. I mean, it was an aggressive gesture for the slash. Well, the Rockers will go to their first power play of the game, and so Swan into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. So we'll see if they can spring him out of there in a couple of minutes. Columbus is gonna have to change up its unit that was out there. It's gonna be Petrantonio Bersani out up front, Duncan, and it looks like Anderson. So the first time the River Dragons will have to kill one off tonight, Puck ends up in the netting there in the near side. They did not whistle the play dead. Puck tied up on the near side corner. Vanderwill try to walk it in front. Cole gets saved on the doorstep. Rebound is shoved just past the post. Duncan knocks his man down in the corner. Puck up the right side and just out over the line. King forced all the way back into his own end. Rockers quickly on the regroup. Here's Koash. Koash on the right side. Tried to come in over the line. Forced into the corner. Duncan with a heavy hit. Knocks him down. Puck played ahead. Scoots past Petrantonio. King is going to get to it first. Gives it up in space, and now two on one. Bersani moving in, wrist shot, and that one high and out of play. 7 2 into the second period, 1 2 to go in the penalty. Swan in the box for slashing, but perhaps the best chance so far belonged to the River Dragons. 3 0 Columbus here in the Wow Internet second period. Back with more in a moment on River Dragons hockey. <laughs> 
Get internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Your dreams. Seven oh two gone here in the second period. Presented by WOW Internet. 3-0 River Dragons. 102 to go in the minor penalty. By the way, not slashing, but unsportsmanlike conduct given to Swan. Not that that makes it any better for <laughs> River Dragons fans, I'm sure, but just want to make sure we got the call correct, and it is unsportsmanlike conduct. Face off coming up to the right of Babbitt. Tied up in the circle, Storjahan ends up chasing it behind the net, but Motor City will look to move it ahead. Under a minute to go on the power play for the Rockers. 3-0 Dragons tipped into the River Dragons end. Slowed down by Colgan, swept around the near side, not out. Giuliano keeping it in, lost it to Wickline, backhands to the right point, not out of the hole, and now it's played in front, finally cleared. The Shinkarik cut off that, was able to move it away. Babin has to come out to play the puck. The Rockers ahead now. On the right side, here's T.J. Delaney, swings it around behind the net. Slaheka gets to it, but his clearing attempt hit a body. Shinkarik up to the left point, not out. Fed up top, Giuliano, near side, Miguel Diaz. Back across, top of the far circle, Milam into the far corner, Delaney. Delaney, left side, Milam into the slot. Svinsov, a backhand, floats through to the front of the net. And Colgan will just calmly cover. Paddle down, flops the mid over it. Eight seconds to go with Swan in that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Draw coming up to the right. Uh, Brendan Colgan. Justin McDonald out here for the faceoff. And, well, they didn't like that. We'll do it again. More Underwood and Bockwell out there with J Mac. And it looks like McDonald tossed out of the draw, so Morse got to come in for it. And he tries to swipe it back to the circle, comes to McDonald. He'll flip it the rest of the way down the ice. And that's it. Swan out of the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Back to five on five we go. River Dragons one for one on the penalty kill. Rockers on the rush. Right side into the zone, cutting into the corner. Vanderweel with a centering attempt block. Couldn't get it through to Coash. Puck bounces over to the far side. Bockwell putting Gulo into the corner, knocks him down. Gulo battling on the far side, but Puck finally free. Comes up to Moore. Moore looking to flip it ahead. Cut off and kept in. Behind the net, Underwood. Onto the near side, Bockwell. Looking up the wing, here's Hunter. Hunter to center. In over the line, trying to feed it across. Pass picked off. And now back comes McGill Diaz in over the line with a long wrister. Save Colgan. Rebound in front. Cleaned up by the D. Cleared out. Dumped right back in by Coash. Colgan will block her that aside as the Rockers changing it up. Fed back across. Columbus will try the left wing. Here's Hunter on the wing. Moore cutting in over the line. Kyle Moore with a trailer there. That was McDonald. Couldn't get it to him. And now back come the Rockers. They'll dump it right in on Colgan. And he feels the pressure from Conway. He likes to take a knee and to hold on to that. Forty-seven seconds shy of the halfway mark of this hockey game. Three-nothing River Dragons in the lead. McDonald's got one of the goals. Shinkarik and Storjahan the others. 
J Mac scoring streak now 35 straight games with a point 81 points in that stretch. Face off tied up on the dot Columbus winning it back. Austin Doe our first period intermission guest couldn't clear that one out cross ice feed that one ends up off the glass Petrantonio away to center here's Doe. Doe pushing it through the D, trying to cut through. Doe moving in. Jamaev chops at it. Babin stuck the left leg out and got a piece. Back come the Rockers. King will fling it in far side corner. Duncan around the near side. Banked it past Doe out to center. Wells will turn it right back in off the chest of Colgan. Duncan near side chip off Doe to center once again. Milam banks it back. Delaney popped it up in the air. Milam stepping up on the puck. Tried to walk through the D. Anderson cut it off. Puck ends up in the near corner. River Dragons ahead one more time here. Jamaif will get it to center. Petrantonio closing on his man. And now a turnover back to the Motor City line. But Columbus peeling off the attack for a change here. Doe getting it ahead in space left side. Looking for a little help from Wickline. Wickline lost it. And Giuliano just mishandles the center, has to turn it back, and so Motor City has to abort the attack as well. Rockers in the regroup. Big shoulder at center right there. Duncan stepped up to knock his man down and now turned over, but Storjahan falls as he tried to take off with it. Duncan put a shoulder into his man at center and almost gave it the old uh, holster the stick move there. Milam. Trying to push back in over the line. Well, the River Dragons are playing with some verve right now. It's tipped away out to center ice and now ahead. Motor City on the left side. Smith trying to walk in. Slahetka got in the way. Puck centered. Storjahan's got to hurry as an attacker on him, but he clears it just over the line off the heel of Sequoia Swan. Puck dumped back into the River Dragons end of things. Slahetka gloves it out of the air, try to feed Swan. Smith sends it back around, too far for Koash. Moore back after it far side, eight and a half to go here in the second. He'll lob one out to center, bounces away from Storjahan. He'll peel off the forecheck and go to the bench. Vanderweel moving it ahead. Gulok trying to fight it, in over the line, turned right back. Puck tied up at center. McDonald feeds it far side. Moore. Moore back into the slot. Cut off by Conway before it got to Hunter. Here comes Conway through center. Wheeling over to the right side. He's got some room over there. Wrist shot blocker save. Colgan rebound way up in the air. Glove down and out to center. Here comes a lead for Hunter. Moving in on the break to the forehand. Shut down by the right pad of Babin. And a penalty drawn by Hunter, a hooking call. Wondered if we might see a penalty shot there. He was in behind the D, but two-minute minor. And the River Dragons with the power play when we come back, leading at 3-0, 7.44 to go in this WOW Internet second period. This is River Dragons hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. All right, River Dragons. Back onto the law of power play tonight, second period, presented by WOW Internet, proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! 3-0 Columbus, and the loft 
Features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stub for a two-for-one deal on cover. And that is in downtown Columbus. Another fine partner here for the River Dragons on River Dragons Hockey. And the power play starts by having to go back to center and pick up a loose puck. Moore will step right back in with it, though. He'll send it around the rim. Rotondi is in the box for hooking. River Dragons power play is 0 for 1. They did score just after the expiration of the last power play, but it wasn't even strength goal. Stored to Hunt on the far side on the right wing corner. He'll flip it into space. McDonald, right half wall. Stored to Hunt. Right point, Doe to the middle. Gets it back across, high slot shot, and that one is deflected wide. Puck on the side of the net, Moore couldn't get to it, and it's cleared down. Joe looking to move it ahead here. Store Jahan on the right side. A little flip into space. In over the line and now knocked down to the ice. No call there. Petrantonio was knocked down. McDonald in. Drags, waits, feeds it in front. It pinballs behind the net. McDonald on the puck up top. Stops, flips it across off the mid of Moore. Petrantonio can't touch it. And Doe does, but that's a hand pass. Moore peeled away from the pursuit of the puck. Kyle Moore is saying what gives, but... Moore should have went to that puck. But he did not. Faceoff comes back outside. 6.34 to go in the second. 51 seconds to go in the River Dragons power play. Jamea Hunter, Wick line. Out there with Shinkarik and Slahetka. This is the unit that scored just after the expiration of the last power play. Columbus moves it in, left side, quick line, into the left wing corner. Tries to cut in front, changes his mind, loops out the far side of the net. Slides it along, up top, wound up one time. Shinkarik block came right back to him. Slahetka left half wall, gets it down low. Quick line, left point, Shinkarik looking in front, back to the near circle, but Jamaev couldn't hang on to that pass. Back up top, it's fed to Jamaev. Up top, blue line, Shakarik on the line, had to chop it away quickly. Columbus maintains, though. Jamaev on the far side, and that one is knocked away from him. Not quite as crisp here on this particular shift. River Dragons push back in with time winding down. Wickline feeds the far side, one time, and that one is sent high by Hunter. Power play expires, and now there's another penalty on Rotondi as he hits Lahetka, and that's going to be a boarding call. Right back into the box for Rotondi. Came out, wanted to make the big hit, but he went at Slahetka and hit him right in the numbers. Boy, Rotondi is three for three. He's the only guy who's been in the box for Motor City tonight. Fourteen twenty-six time of the call. So the River Dragons right back onto the loft power play with their over two. The loft has live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two-for-one deal on cover. Let's see if the River Dragons can make something happen here. There's a feed in front. Storge on tipping it just wide. And now on the near side, Columbus battling for the puck. Tied up in a pile. Out of it. Storge on feeds it across. And now the right wingers don't into the corner. McGill Diaz on him. Ends up back with McGill Diaz. He has a chance to clear it out. He'll skate it ahead. Chip too far for Delaney and a very tired Motor City penalty kill unit. Gets a break. This will be almost four consecutive minutes of penalty killing time for them. Right side here, Storjahan moving it in. Flips into space. Moore leaving it off to the right point. Petrantonio, Storjahan, right half wall. McDonald in his skates to Petrantonio. Petrantonio back to McDonald. McDonald walking in. Storja Hahn into the slot. Oh, the puck right through the skates there of Moore and out to center. Petrantonio moving it back in. Flips it right side for McDonald. McDonald back in front. Petrantonio tip on goal and bab of the save. First one he's had to make in a while here. We're going to get to a break with 4.25 to go in the second. 3 nothing River Dragons. 52 seconds to go in the boarding penalty against Rotondi. When we come back, more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get in 
With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle Internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. And we are back here. Second period action, 425 to go. 52 seconds in a River Dragons power play. They lead to 3 0. Let's take a break. 10 seconds along the network right now for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 1069 really rocks. Face off will be to the left of the Motor City Rockers goaltender Trevor Babin. Stop 20 at 23 here tonight. Wick line, Hunter, Jemayev, Shinkarik. And Slahetka out there for this draw in the Rockers end of things. Tied up by Wickline and pushed back towards Shinkarik. To the right side, and there's a pass deflected out to center as Hunter tried to force one through. Slahetka has to go all the way back to his own end. Now Shinkarik quickly skating it ahead with speed, and boy, that's way offside. Wickline was not even close. <laughs> Might be the easiest call anybody makes all night. That offside is brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They are online at Old School Barber, S H O P P E.com. Are your sides a little off? Get lined up at Old School Barber Shop. Reservations highly recommended, and you can book online anytime. Plus, you can book 24 7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Old School Barber Shop. River Dragons push back in here. Four minutes to go in the second. 3 0 Columbus. Puck turned. In front of the net, only Vanderweel there tries the glass, kept into the point puck towards Wickline in the slot, and he's looking to pull it free. A lot of traffic. Far side here's Hunter. Up top, Shinkarik tees up a drive, and that is deflected to the near glass. And oh boy, that caught one of the Rockers up high. I think it ramped up the stick and right into the face of, I'm not sure who that is, maybe Tim Delaney or maybe Vanderweel. I think that's 19. I think that's Vanderweel. Oh, boy. I think that did ramp right up his stick. Caught him right in the side of the head. He did get off the ice under his own power, though, and talking to the trainer right now. Did Upside, didn't see any blood. So hopefully, <laughs> if nothing else, it didn't cut him, but it certainly got him pretty... Pretty solid there. 10 seconds to go on the power play. River Dragons control the face off. Here's Bockwell up top of the shot, save Babin. And a rebound cleared down by Koash, a roller all the way down the ice, that'll do it. Columbus is now over three with a man advantage. Three and a half to go here in the second period. And that pass airmailed past Swan and down. That's an icing call. So we'll take the draw back into the River Dragons end of things here. Well, the uh, homestand here this weekend represents three of the six remaining home games. Next time we're back at it is the 5th and 6th of April. And then, of course, Fan Appreciation Night, which is our final family four-pack night coming up on April 13th. That is brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland and Kissin 99.3. For just $40, you get four tickets to the game, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, four hot dogs, and four Chick-fil-A coupons. Those are only available at the River Dragons office. Let's sell it out. Fan appreciation night. What a great deal. Just $40. You can't even get four tickets for $40, let alone feed the family, not only that night, but later on, too, with those Chick-fil-A coupons. 
And again, only through the River Dragons office. Come on down and see us. Here's Petrantonio carrying it back in for Columbus. And now Koash knocked down to the far side. He's had a bit of a rough night tonight. Swan throwing the body there. And now another thump there. Bersani, Petrantonio up top. Here's a chance for Underwood a shot. Good left pad save. Babbitt a rebound in front. And that one is kicked away as Bersani a little wrister. Up to the right point. Underwood holding it in. His shot deflected away to the corner. Swan on it there. Back up to the right point. Underwood again. He'll backhand it down the boards. Hit Swan. Came back to Underwood. Tried to flip it across. It's tapped out to center. Underwood with a bank back to Bersani. And that one ends up in on McGill Diaz. Both teams trying to change here. Bockwell turns it in over the line. Columbus has to tag up. Right side, here's Fintzoff, steps in over the line. Right wing, curls, waiting for help, sends it deep. Behind the net, Bach will chasing T.J. Delaney, centering feed, swatted away in front of the net. Now Hunter looking to wedge it up towards Moore in space. Hunter chasing to the right side, he'll move it in. Here's Hunter with speed, walking it on goal to the forehand. Glove saved by Babin. Hunter had the puck bounce on him at the last moment, still got a great chance away, but Trevor Babin makes the glove stop and keeps it 3-0 with 157 to go in the second. What a great effort by Ryan Hunter to just break through the Motor City defense. He would not be denied on his way to the net. Wow. McDonald, peek over his left shoulder back towards Duncan, going to try to win the draw back to him. Motor City converges and they're able to control. Puck dumped on in, Colgan. Will play it away. On to the near side. McDonald with a backhand feed. Right side to Moore. Taps it over the line. In front for Hunter to the backhand. Babin to his left. Shut it down. Rebound to Hunter. Tried to center. Too far for McDonald. Collects it off the dasher into space. Hunter with a screen. Walks it behind the net. Stops. Flips it near side. McDonald curls. Stops. He's got space. McDonald back towards the goal. Curls in the corner again. McDonald again looking. Backhand right across the goal mouth out the far side. Now the other way is Delaney stepping in on the right wing. Delaney trying to walk in, and he has cut to, oh boy, he's ridden in hard into the end wall there, and Duncan ends up getting the worst for wear out of that one. That was kind of an awkward situation. And it, I think that was Underwood, the defenseman who went down to block the shot. No, it was Anderson. Anderson dove across to block the shot successfully. And Duncan stayed tangled up with T.J. Delaney, put Delaney, they were going towards the corner together. And the two of them wrapped up together. It is going to be Duncan's penalty. But they both ended up tripping over Anderson, who was down on the ice. So just kind of an awkward situation all the way around, but at the end of the day, it's Brody Duncan into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box for a tripping call. And it was Duncan who got the worst out of all of it. He was rocked by that ride into the end wall. 18.50 time of the penalty. Second Rockers power play with 1.10 to go here in the second. 3-0 River Dragons in the lead. They'll start with a draw when Underwood will fire it around to the left point. Puck not out, and now it's out as the pinball's off a shin pad and all the way down the ice. So under a minute to go here in the second. Rockers. Boy, it would be a huge lift for them if they could score before hitting the dressing room. Vanderwill back out there. Boy, that's good to see. Koash playing it into the far corner but it's picked off and cleared on down the ice. The special teams battle so far, I mean, these both of these teams are top three units in both power play and penalty kill. It's been won by the PK units. Here's Petrantonio, chance in front. Babbitt a shorthanded save on Wickline. Case in point right there. Great scoring opportunity, and it goes for the River Dragons. They're the shorthanded team. Coming away on the right side, trying to get in. Turned over, Petrantonio finds a seam, and down it goes. 12 seconds of the period, Babin wanted to stretch, but his team was changing, and he had no real option. That's pretty much going to kill the time that 
Motor City had left in the period here as that long pass is tipped in on Colgan and he'll play it away at the horn. So 40 minutes in, Columbus with a 3-0 lead. And they are out in front of the Motor City Rockers here, but boy, both these teams have been battling pretty well. Columbus has been a little bit better tonight. But, hey, Motor City is always such a threat. They have a deep bench. They're a talented team. Certainly they came a long way to get here and seem to be trying to shake those bus legs, if you will. To that end, they're going to have 50 seconds of power play time when they come out in period number three to try to give it a go and get things going for themselves. But Columbus has done a great job on the penalty kill. In fact, the one good scoring chance of that power play belonged to Columbus. Petro Antonio feeding Wickline in front. Brendan Colgan's been doing his job here tonight. So has Trevor Babin, even though he's given up three. He's uh, made some spectacular saves. It could be worse right now. But the River Dragons just need to focus on continuing to play their game. They've done a very nice job here tonight. It's a really good opening home game of the series. If you're looking at it from that kind of standpoint, I think Columbus is doing exactly what they need to do. So 40 minutes in, the River Dragons have established a 3-0 lead. We'll take a break and come back in our second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway. We'll wrap up the scoring. Take a look inside the numbers, and we'll have that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard. Have your bracket handy. I will go through the tournament scores for you. Back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Shh, shh, shh. Brum, dum, dum. Get low, get low, get low. Three, six, nine. Ooh, she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. To the window. To the window. To the wild. To the wild. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild.
Second period intermission report is brought to you by Shredaway and Columbus adding one more to its goal scoring total in that period. And as we take a look at our scoring wrap here, we find that Columbus came into the period with a 2-0 lead on goals by Justin McDonald. And Carter Shinkerik, they added one more at 6.03. It came just after the expiration of the River Dragons' second power play of the game, so not a power play goal. But Storjahan nets his 20th of the season from Sequoia Swan. And uh, a shot that I think kind of caught the goaltender Babbitt a little bit by surprise. He was moving from left to right, and Storjahan let it go from the tops of the circles. Got good velocity on it for a wrist shot, but Babbitt never got the glove up, and it beats him over the right shoulder. River Dragons get another one to add to the cushion to make it 3-0. And uh, that's the way the scoring in the period would finish. So 3 nothing Columbus at this point. A couple of power plays going either way, but nobody has been successful yet. Although Motor City does carry 50 seconds of power play time over. So technically 0 for 1 in that period with the second one still going. River Dragons 0 for 2 in the period, 0 for 3 in the contest. Shots on goal in the period. A little quieter for Motor City, just six. 14 for Columbus as they are at 29 so far in the game. 17 for the Rockers. So that's a look at the uh, scoring summary from that period. And again, we talk about the special teams battle coming into this one. You have the number three power play for the River Dragons and the number one penalty kill against the number two power play for the Rockers and the number three penalty kill. And right now it's been the penalty killing units of both teams that have been the stars of that particular battle. And uh, taking a look at it from, you know, that perspective of uh, the River Dragons have a very good, very talented first and second power play unit. You, I don't want to say you expect they're going to break through every game. I think maybe River Dragons fans were a little bit spoiled with how much talent we do have on this hockey team. Uh, but I know that expectations are always high that when you're up a man, you're going to score a goal. And kudos to Motor City. I will say that I think Babbitt has been their best penalty killer here tonight when he's been called on. But they have done a nice job. Disciplined job, blocking shots, getting in the way, sticks in the lane, bodies in the lane, taking away those shooting uh, lanes that are normally there. And Motor City's penalty kill, really just a, a lot of hard work out there, and they're doing a great job. So kudos to them, credit to them. But the River Dragons have still found a way to put three up so far. And again, if not for the play of Babbitt in this one, it could be four, five, nothing, maybe a little worse at this point. But he has played an excellent hockey game. All right, let's take another break here in this Shredaway second period intermission report. When we come back, the out-of-town scoreboard is coming up. Grab your bracket. I'll fill you in on what's going on in the men's college basketball tournament. Plus... Bunch of other games going on in the FPHL and even a couple in the NHL tonight. So stay tuned. Plenty more coming your way. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. <laughs> or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. Don't miss your chance to win at Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven. So come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, 
most exciting games around, and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I-85 exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. Shredaway second period intermission report. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Appreciate you being here for Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Want to say hi to all of our Motor City Rockers friends joining us here this evening. We appreciate you being here as well. Three game series between these two teams here on the weekend. Game one tonight, game two tomorrow night, 7.05 puck drop, 6.30 on the pregame show, and then 4.05 on Sunday with a 3.30 pregame show start time. All here from the Columbus Civic Center. Tickets are on sale now for those games and all remaining River Dragons home games through Ticketmaster.com and of course right here at the Civic Center box office. So if you're at the game here tonight, might be able to pick yourself up some seats or if you come down during regular business hours. Plus, don't forget about those family four-pack deals. What a tremendous deal that is. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland and our sister station, Kissin 99.3. The family four-pack includes Four tickets to a River Dragons game, and there's only one left. It's April 13th, Fan Appreciation Night. But you get your four tickets, four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, and four Chick-fil-A coupons. That's over $100 in value for just $40. Take advantage of this great deal brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland, Kissin' 99.3, Buffalo Rock Pepsi, Brewster's Ice Cream, and the Columbus Civic Center. Available only through the River Dragons office. Call 706-507-4625 to order yours today. Again, that's 507-4625. Or, of course, you can always come down and visit us in the office. We're located on the west side of the Columbus Civic Center right there by the courtyard. All right, out-of-town scoreboard time. Let's take a look. And it's presented by Zelmo's Zippin. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999, and I know a lot of you are anxious to get to the college basketball. Don't worry, we will. But right now, Binghamton has come back out of Watertown, and now midway through the third period, the Black Bears have a 3-1 lead up on the Wolves. At McMoran Arena in Port here on a back and forth match between the River Sharks and the Prowlers now sees Elmira back out in front by a 3-2 count seven minutes into the third period there. At the Apex Center, through two periods of play, Blue Ridge continues to lead the Danbury Hattricks 1-0 in that game. And now after two periods of play, the Carolina Thunderbirds have extended their lead to 2-0 over the Baton Rouge Sonico. That is through 40 minutes of play as well. In the NHL tonight, we have three of the four games underway right now. In the third period, the Hurricanes with a 4-3 lead over the Washington Capitals. In the second, the Dallas Stars up 3-1 on the Pittsburgh Penguins. And in the first period, the Blue Jackets with an early 1-0 lead over the Colorado Avalanche. That one is just past the six-minute mark of the opening frame. And uh, Severson's got his seventh of the year from Goudreau and Jenner. 10 o'clock face-off tonight. You've got the Kraken at the Arizona Coyotes. Men's college hoops. Get the brackets out. Let's go with the finals first from earlier today. Number one, UConn advances by beating number 16, Stetson, 91-52. Number two, Marquette, 87-69. Winners over number 15, Western Kentucky. Number three, Baylor, 92-67. Winners over number 14, Colgate. Number 13, Yale upsets number four, Auburn, 78-76 in the East Region first round. Number five, San Diego State takes care of number 12, UAB, 69-65. Number six, Clemson, 77-56 over number 11, New Mexico. Number 10, Colorado with a mild upset, 102-100 over number seven, Florida in the South Region. And in overtime, number nine, Northwestern, 77-65. Winners over number eight, Florida Atlantic. Game's going on right now. 
Late in the second half, Texas A&M, the nine seed, is going to move on past number eight, Nebraska, 98-83. Duke has opened up a 64-47 lead. Number four, Duke set to advance over number 13, Vermont, here with 16 seconds left to go in that game. Early in the second half, number one, Purdue, leads number 16, Grambling, 44-33. And at the half, Alabama has finally woken up. You can breathe easy, Crimson Tide fans. Alabama, number four seed, 51-34 over number 13, Charleston at the half. 9.20 Eastern time tip. You've got number one, Houston, taking on number 16, Longwood. 9.40 tip. Number five, Wisconsin, and number 12, James Madison. At 9.55, number eight, Utah State, number nine, TCU. At 10.05, number five, St. Mary's, and number 12, Grand Canyon. That rounds out today's men's NCAA basketball action. Here we've got a 3-0 Columbus River Dragons lead after two periods of play. McDonald, Shinkarik, and Storja on the goal scorers. River Dragons out shooting the Rockers 29-17. 50 seconds of power play time left up on the scoreboard. The Rockers will start the period with the power play when we come back. Third period action on the other side of the break. Stay tuned. More coming your way on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. It's hockey. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? with a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bun. You're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo's, Zelmo's, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo's, Zelmo's, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo's zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Third period action, ready to go here from the Columbus Civic Center. River Dragons and the Rockers, first of three here on the weekend between these two tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday afternoon. Columbus looking to make it four in a row, eight one and one in its last ten. Motor City seven and three in their last ten. River Dragons with that three nothing lead, and 50 seconds of power play time to kill off as Brody Duncan heads 
back to the Abercrombie bonding penalty box to start this third period. Brendan Colgan has seen 17 shots from Motor City. Trevor Babbitt has seen 29 for the River Dragons, 26 saves for him. A couple of them in pretty spectacular fashion. Columbus rolling left to right in front of our broadcast location for period number three. Bockwell and Underwood on the points. The captain, Josh Petrantonio, will step in for the faceoff across from Giuliano. And we are ready to get it underway. Puck is tied up on the circle. Motor City does win it back. Sequoia Swan, the other member of the River Dragons out there to start this penalty kill off in period number three with a clean sheet of ice for Motor City. Rockers long shot in. And a blocker save, punched away to the corner by Brendan Colgan. Puck chopped that on the wall, and River Dragons are indeed able to push it back to the Motor City end. On the right side, Rockers move it back in. They'll send it around the rim. Colgan stays put while it rolls to the near corner. Underwood trying to fight it away. Svince off, side of the net. Pushed back into the corner by Underwood. Giuliano on the puck. Motor City setting it up. Giuliano in with a quick shot, went high glove, went over top of the net, comes to the point, kept in on the blue line, but time ticking down. Milam holding it in, feeds it across, and River Dragons back to full strength. Delaney pushed it behind the net. Underwood punching it away to the far side. Petrantonio up with it, ran into Delaney, works it around the rim. Duncan out of the box will move it to center. He's up by himself, all his mates change. Duncan leaves it off here. Shinkerik moving in with a shot, bam, and a glove save. Duncan right there on the doorstep looking for the rebound, but none to be had. 1-11 into the third period. Boy, you don't see that too often. Both defensemen pushing up there on that rush. Faceoff will be to the left of Babin. Bersani in for the draw there with Wickline and Storjahan. Storjahan's got one of the three here tonight. Faceoff goes off the skate of Wickline down the ice since Laheka's really got a hustle. He will get there ahead of Koash. Leaves it off of the reverse up the near side. Ends up with Wickline. His pass to center. Columbus on the way in. Here's Bersani with the long wristers. Stick save all the way to the left. Point kept in by Slahetka. Misses the net. Vanderweel behind the cage. Sends it to the far side. Bersani trying to get there to keep it in. He does. Bersani, Wickline in the left side corner. Into the slot. Storja had a quick shot. Save made off traffic in front. Puck is still loose. Played to the line, not out. Shinkarik all the way up top of the blue line with it, just has to send it to the corner. Wick line behind the net, try to put it up top. It was knocked past him. He didn't see it for a minute there, and that allows Motor City the chance to clear the zone. Lane King will loop it back in. The former River Dragon looking up the right side here. Passes turned right back over. Motor City now with a swipe, get it out to center. Ends up with Shinkarik. He'll back up in his own end. Go D to D here. Up the left side. Pass ahead. Tip. No icing. Into the corner after it is Hunter. Hunter looking up top. Hit the side of the net. McDonald on it. Quick shot. Save Babbitt. A rebound in front. Oh, Moore almost stole it. To the right point. Not out. Kept in by Columbus as Anderson feeds it deep. Hunter deflecting a pass on an outlet attempt there. Looking for a little bit of help. But the puck pushed up the wall. And Motor City does give it to center. But Hunter knocked it away again. Columbus back in, McDonald cross ice feed, hit Hunter on the way over to Moore. Moore is tied up, Hunter circling back, try to feed it, ends up in the slot, a bouncer there, McDonald steals it back. McDonald looking in front, has traffic, wrist shot, and that one high on the blocker side. Kept in on the left side now, here we go, Moore shoving in front. I think Moore's going to go to the box, he and Gulo came together there, but I think, well, no, they're going to take them both. And now Babin's coming over to get involved with Moore. And Babin pushed off into the corner. Kyle Moore giving the crowd the let's make some noise motion here. They oblige him. This is just three minutes into this third period. There aren't a lot of knocks against Trevor Babin. 
But if there is one that's easily identifiable, it is the temper. He's a very acrobatic and athletic goaltender. Can make some absolutely ridiculous saves. It is going to be four on four, by the way. But some goaltenders, they get involved in the game. It kind of makes them stronger. Some goaltenders, they get a little too involved in the game. It gets them off their game. Sometimes Babin can get off his game. Certainly a very fiery, feisty player, as a lot of the guys are. We're going to go four on four. Let's see where we go from here. And there's a chance on the right side. Vanderweel trying to walk in, ends up right into the side of the net. Net comes off behind Colgan. They both get roughing, by the way. After the net comes off behind Colgan, he indicates the face-off correctly back out towards center because it was Vanderweel running into the net that knocked it off. Four on four of the next minute, 48 seconds, 3-0 Columbus. 3.15 into this third period. Lots of ice out there to operate. And here's Hunter up the right side. Taps it to himself. And a goal. Oh, the shot off the glove of Babin just wide of that far post. Shinkarik now in front. Shot tip. Nice save by Babin there. DJ Delaney turning it back up the right side for Motor City. He'll chip it into the far side corner and go after it. Delaney behind the net. Tried to center. That one was taken away from him. Hit the back of the net. Jamaev around to the far side. Slahetka. Across to Jamaev. Jamaev up with Hunter. Two on two, they attack. Motor City changing. Jamaev right side. Hunter right half wall. Trying to walk away from Vanderwill. Behind the net on the far side. Oh, tried to pop it up on the stick there. Maybe looking for a little lacrosse style goal. Hunter up top. Gets it back across. Shinkarik leaving into space for Slahetka. Slahetka. Shinkarik with a high cycle here. And now Columbus is going to pull it out. They're going to change things up in this four-on-four four with 45 seconds to go. Hunter stick handles around one and now two. Here's Shinkarik moving in, three-on-two. Shinkarik in, Hunter to the backhand, leaves it way up top. Underwood following, feeds it back across, but McDonald converged with Hunter, and they, confusion. Puck ends up McDonald. He'll feed it cross ice. Petrantonio backing up, flips into space. Bockwell with a drive, and he sent it over top of the net. Boy, Columbus with a great job on the high cycle. Now over to the far side. Bockwell again from the far dot. Save made by Babin. Rebound chipped up the near wall. And now big hit by Petra. Antonio Puck does get to center, but not much further. Right back in here's McDonald at the line. Pushed off, but got it over. Now it's cleared back out. And that's going to do it for the four on four. Columbus steps back in, though. McDonald right side. Petra Antonio going to the net. He tried to thread it through. Puck. Kept in by Underwood. At the right point in front, McDonald off a skate, drifts wide. McDonald one-handed around, Petrantonio up to the left point. Pass across, Underwood. Underwood fires it into the corner. Wick line behind the net, trying to come out the near side. Escapes the check of Smith. Wick line, right point, Underwood quickly back down the wall. Glove down by McDonald. Flips it far side, puck off the high glass, out to center, Bockwell. Couldn't find it for a second. It took him a minute, but he's got it now. Both teams trying to get a change on here. Underwood puts a shoulder into Smith as he charges up left side, and Bockwell comes over to finish the job. Big hit in the near side. Corner puck away to the line, just past Milam out of his reach, and out to center. River Dragons pressuring on the four check here. Store Jahan on the far side. And the puck turned over at center, but Anderson steps right back in. Oh, boy. They call it offside. It definitely wasn't, but the whistle goes. 5.59 gone here in the third. 3 0 River Dragons back of the war in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams.
At BEAM, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. 5.59 into this third period. Columbus River Dragons with a 3 0 lead over the Motor City Rockers. Want to say thank you to all of our radio listeners on 1069 Rocks, our flagship radio station here in Columbus. And of course, everyone taking the game in tonight on the YouTube channel at Columbus River Dragons is the team's handle. Not only do we have the games broadcast live for you there, but you can catch saves of the week brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. And of course, all kinds of features that we put up there, including. My new one, Callie's Corner. Hope you get a chance to watch that. Plus, we always post our coaches show as a podcast a couple days later. So if you ever miss that Tuesday night radio coaches show, you can always look for it on the YouTube page as well. So head on over to the YouTube page. It's not just the games. We've got content there for you too. River Dragons moving it ahead on the left wing side. Here's Storjahan, who's got one of the three goals tonight. Try to flip it into space. Puck is knocked away to the line. Not out. Kept in. Fedlo Bersani. Side of the net. Chance in front, but... Babbitt has lost his goal stick there. His wick line cut across the front of the net. Can Columbus take advantage? I don't even see the goal stick anymore. I think it went all the way to the near side boards. Puck at the left point. Duncan will send it around. Wick line knocked down. There's Bersani in front. Wick line. A quick shot. Babbitt the save. And the rebound picked out by TJ Delaney. He'll wedge it down the ice. And it rolls all the way in on Colgan. The referee throws Babbitt's goal stick back to him. I don't know if you can do that. Bersani trying to move it across. I don't think he can do that. I think the player's got to retrieve his own stick as it's tipped out by Bersani, and it went off of Holt and out of play. Either way, 7-0-8 gone here in the third. 3-0 River Dragons. Jamayev, Swan, and Doe out there. Slahetka and Shakirik on the points. Faceoff is tied up, still in the circle. Cutting in for it now is Doe. Doe on the right side. Pinned up on the half wall. Ends up at the right point, Shakirik. Shakirik will leave it off for Jamayev. Jamayev swings it around behind the net to Doe. Doe on the right side corner. Swings it back. Jamayev in front and couldn't quite get a shot away there. Knocked away down the left wing wall. Puck is kept in. Boy, Shakirik got in a battle there. Now turned... Ahead by Motor City. It's getting more intense in this one. Long shot in, a blocker save there by Colgan. As the Rockers, maybe a little bit of frustration starting to show here. Still 3-0 Columbus. As Shinkarik pulls it out of danger, he'll just skate it ahead. And now went over the line, steps Sequoia Swan. Swan with the move around one. Short side tried to jam it, went off the side of the net. Eight minutes into the third. Rockers on the attack. They'll try the left side. Puck fed to the left point. Vanderweel steps into a shot. Tipped in front off Smith on a play. Smith and Bockwell with a little extra jab at one another. <laughs> and now Smith kind of reaching for Swan. Not, uh, I don't know if that's the best idea, but. King comes over to chat with Bockwill, a former teammate. Face off to the right of Colgan. I'll tell you what, at Motor City, I actually think is kind of fading a little as the game goes along, which is not what I expected. I expected them to have not as strong a start and come on in periods two and three. I think it's kind of gone the other way a little bit. River Dragons move the puck ahead. Here's Hunter into the right side of the Motor City end. Of course, still two more games to go this weekend between these two teams. So there's a big hit out at center involving Bockwell. Yes, now it's cleared the other way. Tipped on, and King tried to get to it, but he could not cut off by Underwood. Bockwell up with the puck. He'll play it ahead. Hunter 
In space at the line, but now Underwood jumps into the rush. He'll carry it ahead as Moore with him leaves it to him. Moore looking in. Wrist shot, save made. Rebound in front. Hunter stopped by traffic. Rebound is still free up in the high slot. Over to McDonald. His shot. Oh, boy. Oh, he just hit Kyle Moore. Oh, my goodness. Morsey, shake it off, buddy. High slot. Underwood. Wrist shot. Missed the net. Moore turns it through the front of the net. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> The whole building felt that. Oh, I don't mean to laugh, but if you don't laugh, you're going to cry about that one. Whew. I felt that up here. Motor City on the regroup. Nine and a half gone in the third. It'll be dumped in on the left wing side. Behind the net it goes, Bersani after a rolling puck. He'll play it up the near side. McGill Diaz trying to keep it in, take it away from him, Storjahan. With a pass behind it, now Wickline will scoop it up. Moves in, leads for Storjahan, a shot and a glove save Babin. And McGill Diaz, a little extra shot at Storjahan, who takes exception. Bersani comes over to stand up for his teammate. And I think over the last 10 minutes, it's not a stretch to say we're gonna see quite a bit of this. But again, this is only the first of three. These two teams don't like each other. That goes back to last year's playoffs when Columbus eliminated Motor City in the quarterfinal round. Veteran Tonio is sent back off the ice. The change disallowed, so he heads back to the bench. And now Delaney tried to jump early, but they'll let Giuliano stand for the face-off. It's one back Rotondi on it for Motor City. Left side, it's played ahead to center. And here's T.J. Delaney dumping it in on Colgan, who'll glove it aside. Colgan trying to play it away. Oh, boy, he almost pinballed it into his own net off a shin pad. Ends up at the left point. Rotondi keeping it in. Giuliano feeding it across. Left point, Rotondi. Waiting. Left half wall, Svinsov. Left side corner, Delaney. Svinsov, left point, Rotondi, his shot, in on goal and a glove save, Colgan. With 9.41 to go in the third, 3-0 River Dragons. We're back with more in a moment. Stay tuned, plenty more coming away on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change apply for a loan or credit card, we can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. 9.41 to go in the third, 3-0 River Dragons. Tom Callahan here with you in the Kinetic Credit Union third period. Face off will come back in the Columbus River Dragons. End of things here to the right of Brendan Colgan. Crowd having fun tonight doing the YMCA right now. Face off on the near side of the ice. Here, five on five. We're skating right now. Shots are 38 21 in favor of Columbus. And now they're going to toss Jamaeth onto the draw. Petrantonio will have to come in for it. And in across from Smith. Petrantonio with a quick word to goaltender Brendan Colgan before he steps in. The tie up on the dot. And now it's cleared out as it's moved ahead. And Jamaeth up the right side after a loose puck. Into the corner after it. Jamaeth curls up on the wall. Feeds to the right point, Shinkarik. Shinkarik shakes one wrist shot, and he scores! And it looks like a tip by Austin Doe right in front of Babbitt. 
The wrist shot by Shinkarek deflected in by number 17. And it's 4 nothing River Dragons with 9.27 to go in the third. Four different Columbus players on the score sheet tonight. And Austin Doe with a big one right there. 10.33, time of the goal. Shinkarik will pick up his second point of the night, and for Doe, that is his 20th goal of the season. Jamath, the secondary assist on the goal. And now the River Dragons out in front, 4-0. They turn it at center, right side, Petra Antonio trying to move it ahead. Right wing wall, here's Doe in the corner. Up top, Shinkarik. Shinkarik looking for a seam, trying to get it through, a shot in. Good glove save there by Babin. No rebound to be had this time. Petra Antonio talking to the Motor City netminder before disengaging and heading to the bench for the change here. Four goals on 40 shots for Columbus. It'll be McDonald, Moore, and Hunter right back out there for the River Dragons. Underwood and Bockwell on the points of the faceoff. One back by McDonald. Underwood feeds Bockwell at the blue line. A shot is tipped into the near corner. McDonald sends it far side. McGill Diaz up the wall. Delaney can't clear. Kept in by Underwood. McDonald after it behind the net, stops, tries the near side, had it taken away. Rotondi up the wall, ahead to Delaney. Delaney on the left wing, sends it deep. Giuliano in after it, tried to center. Did get it through, but picked up by Moore. Moore banked it off the net and comes out of the pile with it. Moore with a backhand pass to center, didn't get much on that. And he steals it back, though, at center, and now gives it right back. McDonald, left side, has got a little bit of room, leaving into space, and Hunter had it roll away back to McDonald, and McDonald, puck pops up in the air, side of the net, centering feed, here's Hunter, back door, Moore had it hop off his stick. Oh, Kyle Moore had an open net, if only the biscuit would settle. Cleared off the glass, down the ice, they say no icing here, left side as it swept away from Smith, coming back for it is Moore, Moore to Hunter, Hunter curls back, River Dragons, Maybe making a change here, and indeed they are as McDonald turns, gets it back to Hunter. Hunter wheeling on the right side with a long wrister, and that's tip wide on the stick side. Players losing their edge a bit here in the third period. We've seen a bunch of guys kind of go down on either side. No one around them. And now the puck turned over in the slot to Bersani. He gets it across as he's knocked down, but Wickline in for a chance. He scores! Cody Wickline on a delayed penalty chance. Bersani got the pass across somehow from being prone on the ice. Wickline walks in, goes top shelf short side, and it's 5-0 River Dragons with 7.15 to go in the third. What a play by Bersani, who had the presence of mind, even though he'd been knocked down and the penalty was coming. Some players would just allow the touch and say, all right, let's go to the power play, but Bersani got it across. And Wickline with a great finish. So now it's 5-0 Columbus. Storjahan picking up an assist on that goal as well. And now a penalty, delay penalty coming up against Columbus. And so the Rockers are going to go back on the power play here in a minute. The extra man is out with the net empty. 
Motor City to center. Delaney trying to put it into the corner. Heavy hit on Duncan. And the whistle blows. As the puck touched up here. 13-39. Time of the upcoming penalty here. And it's going to be a slashing call, but still don't know who the guilty party is. Neither do the River Dragons. Still no one has come over to the box. It is Bersani. Into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Third power play of the evening for the Motor City Rockers. They are all for two. 5-0 River Dragon, 6.21 to go into third. And Motor City, maybe a chance to try to build a little momentum for tomorrow night. Meanwhile, the River Dragons PK has been very good in this game. Draw to the right of Colgan. Giuliano in there for the faceoff, tied up by Jameev. Puck pulled out, ends up at the left point, Milam. Spins off, Milam. Gets it across to the right side, Miguel Diaz down the right wing wall. Swung in behind the net. Delaney wraps it around up to the left point. Milam waiting for it. He'll send it right back down. Bounces in behind the net. Giuliano tried to center. It was blocked. Milam cuts off left point. Feeds right side. McGill Diaz one time. And that one found the glass. Bouncing puck in the near side. Cleared out by Columbus. And down the ice. Jamaff and Swan out there up front right now. Along with Shinkarik and Slahetka. Motor City will walk it back in, trying to set up again. 113 to go on the power play. Svintsov behind the net. Turned away from him, cleared to the line, off McGill Diaz and out. Columbus trying to get a couple of guys changed out here. Puck turned over, and now Petrantonio steps ahead. Petrantonio using the D as a screen with the wrister fought off by the blocker of Babin. Petrantonio will just eat some time in the corner. 5-10 to go here in the third. 5-0 River Dragons. 47 seconds and counting in this penalty. Nice job by Petrantonio. Man, he is just absolutely ragging the puck in the corner. Finally pulled out by Motor City. King will move it ahead. Bockwell chasing it back into his own end. Koash after it, leaving it off in the corner. Centering feed. Here's a chance in tight. They score. Vanderweel down the slot with a shot that beats Colgan for a power play goal. And the Rockers on the board late, ruining the shutout bid for Brendan Colgan with 4.51 left. Now well, Columbus just over-pursued there on that one. And so Bersani out of the box and the power play marker. Vanderweel takes a bite out of the donut. Time of the goal, 15.09. For Vanderweel, that's his sixth of the season. Oh, big hit in the corner. And the River Dragon zone as the puck was dumped in. Motor City maybe feeling itself a little bit here. The River Dragons can't go to sleep just yet. This game isn't over. King on the near side, tied up in the corner. Columbus trying to push ahead, Bersani. Fights through a check there at center as he's pulled down, gets back up. Now, right side here's Wickline in the corner. Backhands it, leaves for Storjahan. Right half wall, Storjahan steps in front, has traffic. Wrist shot blocked by that traffic. Gets it across, Bersani and his skates couldn't get to it, and it's backhanded out. Turning quickly back is Anderson, feeding on the right side. Storjahan in over the line, try to leave it back to Anderson, but he fanned on the pass, and it's cleared back out. Columbus has to dig back for it, turn it right back the other way. Bouncer in over the line, ends up with Rotondi. Rotondi looking ahead, his pass deflected on, is now dumped in from center. 344 and counting to go in his third period. Koash up on the four check, Storjahan off the dasher out to center, McGill Diaz. Turning back, looking on the left side, his pass got in over the line. Here's Gulo, bottom of the circle feeds in front off the skate of Koash. 
George Hahn, far side corner, run into puck free to Slahetka. He'll wedge it to the line, but not out. McGill Diaz keeping it in. His shot off a leg went behind the net. Fed around towards the left point, took a bounce off the puck board, cleared to the slot, and Koash keeping it in, but fortunately, Slahetka up with it. Now left side to lead it ahead. Jamaf on the wall, overskates the puck as it hopped off his stick. Lead pass the other way here. Smith walks in. Smith in behind the D and on goal and he scores. What an individual effort right there from Avery Smith as he absolutely walked the defense. And with 2.59 to go, suddenly it's 5-2 and Motor City's awake. Seventeen oh one. time of the goal, so the goal's coming a minute, 52 seconds apart. Vanderweel's goal, the only assist given to Conway. And Miguel Diaz will pick up the helper on this one. City trying to push back in here. Svensov knocked away at the line. Game's not over yet. River Dragons still have 237 to get out of this third period. And Motor City setting a tone a little bit here for tomorrow night as well in the rematch. Columbus pushing it ahead and now up the right side. Here's Underwood. He's got help in front. Underwood all the way to the corner. Banks it up top, but Svensov is right there to take it away. Columbus is really falling back defensively here. They didn't push into the zone very much there. You certainly don't want to go into a defensive shell. That's exactly how you're going to get scored on. You've got to keep the pressure up here. And now back in the defensive zone, we've got Svintsov and Bockwell still talking it over. Motor City is offside. Finally, they tag up as the puck cleared to center. Under two to go now. And that's an icing call against the Rockers. That'll get us to our final break of the period. 149 to go in the third. 5-2 River Dragons in the lead. Back with more in a moment. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We've got Petrantonio in a pile over there. And now Moore is in there. Now Vanderweel's going to jump in on Moore. Colgan's just trying to get to the bench here. Babin is at center ice looking for somebody to scrap with. Wells is looking for a dance partner. Bockwell's going to be escorted off. So is Moore and Petrantonio. 149 to go here in this third period. Vanderweel and Moore still yapping. All right, now we're going to get to our break. 149 to go on the third. I'm telling you, this game is not over yet. Back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! time! Set the tone! Kyle, tie your shoes, tie your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild.
All right, so with 149 to go here in the third, we still have not ironed anything out so far as the penalty calls, although I can tell you Bach will more and Petrantonio have gone to the locker room for the River Dragons. And then Vanderweel went for the Motor City Rockers. And now they're trying to get one of the trainers to go down the River Dragons tunnel. Nothing has been posted yet as far as actual penalties. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if we just doled out a bunch of 10s at this point because I don't think it really matters beyond trying to keep things even. All right, four on four is the indication for the referee. Which, I mean, that's fine. Trying to see who else might be gone for the Rockers, but really, they did not lose too many... Too many people to the uh, to the locker room there. That's the other thing. Columbus can't fall into a trap here. Each team, they're saying each team needs to get a guy into the penalty box to serve whatever minor is coming up here. Still have a little bit of confusion here. So Storjahan's going to come in and serve whoever's penalty. And he'll be serving for more. And then... It'll be Holt who goes in to serve a two-minute minor assist against Conway. Either way, four on four, as I mentioned. We'll uh, try to update you as soon as we get the final call on all this stuff. But in the meantime, 140 to go. We're back underway here in the third. Puck tipped ahead and now into the right side. Here's Gulo into the River Dragons end. Looking up top, feeds the slot. McGill Diaz in on the backhand. Cole going to save, coming to his left. And he'll hold on to the puck with 123 to go here in the third. Okay, so Petrantonio, Bockwell, and Vanderweel, all 10-minute misconducts. Two for roughing to Moore, two for roughing to Conway. River Dragons looking to move the puck ahead. Right side, here's Doe tipping it down, no icing. Wells swings it around the far side. 107 to go here to third. Puck out to center with Sequoia Swan back on it there. One minute left in the third period. And we're into the final minute of play here in the third. Right side here's Delaney and the River Dragons in. Trying to fight through a check. Shinkarek turning it the other way. Doe looking for it over there. Swan tying his man up on the far side. Doe back after it. In behind the net, Shinkarek. 40 seconds to go. And he'll loop behind his own net. Milam stays up on the forecheck. Columbus changing it up here a little bit. Shinkarik waiting. Goes out the right side. He'll flip it back across. Tipped into space. Here's Doe. Doe moving it up. Wanted Anderson, but the puck bounced away from him. 17 seconds to go, and Columbus was just happy to eat a little bit of that clock. Down to... 10 seconds to go now. Motor City's going to try for one more rush. Here comes McGill Diaz through center. In on the right wing side. McGill Diaz in on goal with a backhand. Missed the net. Countdown is on, and the game is over. The Columbus River Dragons with a big 5 2 win over the Motor City Rockers here tonight. And it got feisty. Big win for Columbus. Don't forget, they saved your teams right back at it tomorrow night at 7.05. And then on Sunday, 4.05.
Stay tuned. We're into the Pepsi Post Game Show. Coming up next, it's the three stars of the game brought to you by Wade Cleaners. Back of the war in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Rum, dum, dum. Get low, get low, get low. Three, six, nine. Ooh, she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the window, to the wall, to the wall. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the window, to the wall, to the wall. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. There's your number one star, Carter Shinkarik. 5-2, River Dragons win. We'll take another break in this Pepsi postgame show. When we come back, we wrap up the scoring. Take a final look back at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo Zippin. Stay tuned. More coming your way. 5-2, your final. River Dragons over the Rockers. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. That. It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. 
This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hello there, my name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. To Fort Moore, Columbus, and W295AY Crystal Valley. 1069 really rocks. Back here on the Pepsi Post Game Show, Columbus victorious here tonight by a final score of 5 to 2. Let's go back and take a look over the scoring wrap for you. It started off in the first period, Columbus scoring a pair of goals. And yes, Justin McDonald picks up a point right off the hop. It's 36th goal of the year from Hunter and Moore. The streak continues, 35 games with a point, 32 goals, 49 assists or 81 points in that stretch. Absolutely incredible. J-Mac has a point in every game going all the way back to December 1st now. I incredible, and it continues. 14-41, the goal for Carter Shinkarik is 15th from Hunter and Wickline made it 2-0 at the break. Into the second we go. At the expiration of a power play, the River Dragons end up scoring. It's not a power play goal. It is 5-on-5, five five, but at 6.03, it's Storjahan, his 20th of the year from Swan and Bersani. And Columbus, 3-0. They're up after two. Into the third, we go at 10-33. Shinkarik with a wrist shot tipped in front of the goaltender Trevor Babin by Austin Doe, his 20th goal of the season. Alexander Jameyev, the other helper on that one, made it 4-0. And then at 12-45, just over two minutes later, Cody Wicklines, 18th from Bersani and Storjahan, made it 5-0 River Dragons. But Motor City would not go quietly. At 15-09, a power play marker for Vanderweel, his sixth of the year from Conway. And the Rockers picked up a little bit of life, so much so that less than two minutes later, they do it again. Smith with the goal from Miguel Diaz. As uh, I tell you what, the Rockers, while they didn't win tonight, at least they kind of woke up in the last couple of minutes. And if you're Motor City, you can at least carry that into tomorrow night. No, it's not a win. However, a little bit of effort at the end is better than absolutely nothing at all. And I think that that's something that they might be able to build on tomorrow night. But for Smith at 17-1, that capped the scoring. And uh, Smith... Ends up with his second goal of the season. Avery Smith capping it off, and 5-2 is your final here tonight. Shots on goal by period. River Dragons 15 in the first, 14 in the second, 13 in the third for 42. Motor City 11, 6, and 6 for 23 shots. Power plays the River Dragons finish 0 for 3, and the Rockers finish 1 for 3 with the man advantage. That's a look back at the scoring in this one. One more break to go in the Pepsi Post Game Show. And when we come back, it's the Zelmo Zip in Out of Town Scoreboard. We'll look at scores from around the league, the NHL, and of course, if you got your bracket handy, we'll update you on what's going on in the NCAA men's basketball tournament as well. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories. 
unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. Don't miss your chance to win at Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven. So come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around. And you'll love the fun bonus this is in big jackpot. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I-85 exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. Six nine rocks. Back here in this Pepsi post game show, we're wrapping it up as the River Dragons five two winners tonight over the Motor City Rockers. Same two teams back at it again tomorrow night seven oh five puck drop six thirty on the pregame show four oh five on Sunday with a three thirty pregame show as well. Tickets are on sale for those and all remaining River Dragons home games through Ticketmaster.com and at the Civic Center box office. Time for a final look back at the Zelmo Zip in out of town scoreboard. And as we start off with the FPHL, several finals tonight, including Binghamton 5 2 winners over Watertown. Elmira pushed Port Huron to a shootout, but the Prowlers went at 4 3 in the extra session, so a big win there. For Port Huron to get that extra point. Danbury and Blue Ridge have gone to overtime, tied up at one. Danbury and now a final coming in as Danbury wins it. 2-1 in overtime. So the Hattricks come back. A low-scoring affair tonight, but the Hattricks rally for the overtime victory over the Blue Ridge Bobcats. At the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, the, Carol Annex, the Carolina Thunderbirds shot out the Baton Rouge Zotico tonight. 4 nothing. the final in that one. In the NHL, what a wild finish between the Capitals and the Hurricanes. They went to overtime tied at 6. The game goes to a shootout, and the Capitals come back to win it there 7-6 to six in a shootout over the Carolina Hurricanes. Game's going on right now in the third period. You've got the Stars up 4-1 on the Pittsburgh Penguins. In the second period, the Colorado Avalanche lead the Columbus Blue Jackets 3-1. That's about midway through that contest. Early in the first, Kraken and Coyotes are scoreless. And in the men's NCAA college basketball tournament, finals from earlier today, you've got number one UConn beating number 16 Stetson 91-52, number one Purdue 78-50 over number 16 Grambling, number two Marquette 87-69 over number 15 Western Kentucky, number three Baylor 92-67 over number 14 Colgate. Number 13, Yale upsets number four, Auburn, 78-76 in the East region. 
Number four, Duke beats number 13, Vermont, 64-47. Number five, San Diego State, 69-65 over number 12, UAB. Number six, Clemson, 77-56 over number 11, New Mexico. Number 10, Colorado beats number seven, Florida, 102-100 in the South region. Number nine, Northwestern took overtime to beat number eight, Florida Atlantic, 77-65. And number nine, Texas A&M beats number eight, Nebraska, 98-83. Game's going on right now. Number four, Alabama, 104-79 over number 13, Charleston. And just into the second half, number one, Houston, or into the first half, I should say, number one, Houston, an early 14-4 lead over Longwood. Also just tipping it off, number 12, James Madison, out to an 18-8 lead over number five, Wisconsin. Later on tonight, 10.30 tip, you've got number 9, TCU at number 8, Utah at 10.45. Number 12, Grand Canyon at number 5, St. Mary's rounds out the men's college hoops action tonight. All right, well, that does it for us here in this Pepsi Post Game Show. 5-2 Columbus wins it here tonight. And the River Dragons continue on now, winners of four in a row. With that win, they improved to 34-4, 3-3-1. Motor City now 23-17, 4-4-2. On the season. Same two teams back at it tomorrow night, 7.05 puck drop, 6.30 on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. My thanks to my crew here for getting us through, and we'll talk to you tomorrow night. Thanks for tuning us in. One more time, your final, the Columbus River Dragons 5, the Motor City Rockers 2. This has been River Dragons Hockey. It's hockey. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons Hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zalbo Zip In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barber Shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus River Dragons.